tonight, but they do have the lights on. And uh, probably, I assume, in the second half at some point, the lights will take full effect and darkness will set here at Howard Fellow Stadium. Joining me once again is Brandon Lachance. And uh, Brandon, the Cavaliers coming in 2-0, uh, two different ball games. The first one, they had their way and uh, handled Rochelle pretty easily. Last week, they got a lead, but just kind of had to grind out a win against uh, Plano. Their quarterback, Tyler Hartman, uh, missed the entire second half. But we have some good news. I mean, we're seeing the LP warm up and... First off, Tyler's out in his uniform, not wearing jeans, which is a great start. And I don't know. I mean, it uh, doesn't look like too many ill effects, if any, from his injury last week. We've talked about this. He's a senior. It's a shortened season. This is the rivalry game of all rivalry games <laughs> in this area. Yeah. If he can walk, put put some ice on it. <laughs> give him a Diet Coke. Get some caffeine in him. Ready to go. Or, so, or maybe some uh, Gatorade, something yeah. to get him going. So we'll see. I mean, there may be a, a case where he won't play maybe the whole game because Sean Whitfield uh, stepped in last week and did a, a very admirable job, and uh, he would likely be the quarterback next season, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to get him some you know, playing time anyway and give uh, Tyler uh, some breaks. Now, he's been playing a little bit of defense. My guess is Hartman won't be playing defense and test things tonight. And uh, the Ottawa Pirates is looking at their stats. Yes, they're 0-3. Uh, but they've been in every game at the half, and they seemingly have just kind of ran out of gas in the second half. In fact, Brandon, Ottawa has uh, yet to score in the first half this season. And uh, so that's been, but they've only given up 20 points. And they've been playing, they've played Sycamore and Morris the last two weeks. So LP cannot take this Ottawa team lightly, one, because they seem to be better than they've been, and two, you know they're going to be up for an LP game. I was definitely going to bring that up. Morris and Sycamore are juggernauts year in, year out, and this is no different year. They are playing great football. So for Ottawa to lose those two games, you know, it's not surprising because they are juggernauts. Right. And you can never take a rivalry game easy, mm -hmm. especially Ottawa, LP, and Ottawa does have athletes. They're losing football games, but they have athletes. They're putting points up. They're getting yards. They're doing the things they need to do, just playing really, really tough competition. So uh, LP and Ottawa, again, LP 2-0, and Ottawa 0-3, but uh, the Pirates have lost to Sycamore and Morris the last two weeks, and uh, LP uh, be has beaten Ottawa, I know, the last few seasons at least, and uh, they've been uh, kind of dominating the series of late against the Pirates, but we'll see how things go here at Howard Fellows Stadium. You're listening to LP Cavalier pregame uh, coverage from Howard Fellows Stadium on 103.9 WLPO. Of course, we urge you to go to Star Rock Media on YouTube, and you can check out the webcast and uh, watch the video and listen to the game as well. Zach Shaw here doing the camera work for us. And I want to again thank John Spencer for making uh, this possible to bring you a video and audio of LP Cavalier football. We're probably about oh, 10 minutes away from kickoff. Let's take a break, and uh, we're going to play you the uh, Jose Medina coaches interview leading up to this game against Ottawa. Stay tuned. Cavaliers and Pirates moments away from Howard Fellow Stadium on your home for LP football, 103.9 WLPO. Bill Walsh Automotive, proud sponsor of tonight's Drive of the Game. While a great drive is important in football, Bill Walsh knows what you drive is crucial to your home team. From work and school to the big game, you need a dependable ride that will get you and your team where they need to be safely, on time, in comfort, and style. Find your perfect drive right now at BillWalsh.com. And keep listening for tonight's Drive of the Game. It's brought to you by Bill Walsh Automotive and BillWalsh.com, where you can find your next drive without doing any driving at all. The LP Cavalier football pregame show continues now with our coach's interview with head coach Jose Medina. And, uh, Jose, we like to start off uh, each interview by taking a look back at uh, last week's game. And it was one of those games, I guess you, you could say, you grinded out a win on the road against Plano, um, a game you won uh, by a touchdown. But uh, there were some anxious moments in closing that one out. As a coaching staff, uh, Jose, what are some of the things that uh, you guys took from uh, the, the Plano game? Yeah, I mean, uh, one of the positives was, uh, of course, you know, taking the ball once once defense stopped them on that one-yard line, um, and, you know, and taking the ball for 90 yards and, and you know, putting up putting up, a, putting up some points there. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't, it, you know, as I said, it wasn't a pretty victory, but, you know, we offensively, we did enough, uh, you know, to put points on the board and, you know, defensively, you know, did, did, did enough to uh, – to uh, you know, help help uh, help us out. And uh, thoughts on uh, your depth? Obviously, uh, was tested early, 
uh, second game of the year with some injuries. Uh, you know, I know that's part of football, but uh, you you guys had some players step up uh, in the absence of others who, who got injured. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, Sean stepped in there, uh, uh, took took over for Tyler when when Tyler went down. Um, and, you know, he, he he managed the ball well, and he did he did uh, he he made some good plays too as well. Um, you know, with the pitch and, and, you know, making the right reads and so on. So, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we had some kids that stepped up that needed to step up. And, um, you know, definitely that's a, that's a positive as well as, um, as we move on to, uh, this week. And, uh, you know, that's kind of, he's going to be kind of doing the same thing this week and taking more of a, a, a role on the offense, uh, offensive, offensive side of the ball. So. Yeah, and this week's opponent, Jose, is, uh, you know, the top rival. There's no doubt about it. The Ottawa Pirates, uh, they come in winless, but, uh, you know, they've been playing teams tough. Uh, have you been able to see uh, Ottawa on tape, and uh, what are you expecting from this year's team? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm i I'm in total agreement. They, they, they've played, they played uh, Sycamore and Morris up the first half, uh, and, and it just kind of seems like they, they – uh, as the as the game progressed, they they kind of lost a little steam. But yeah, I mean, you can't take anything away from that. They they they're big up front. Um, you know, they've got some athletes. Uh, they like to run out in space. They like to throw the ball. So, uh, you know, and defensively, they've they've always run their you know uh, their four two six two type of type of defense. So, you know, we're looking uh, we're looking to get the best out of them this week. And um, you know, we're, <laughs> it's it's Ottawa and LP. So. As you said, it's it's one of the biggest rivalries that we have. So, you know, we're we're excited to get going, and we're excited to be back on 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 the turf and and playing there, and you know, competing and showing what we can do against Ottawa. And also probably excited, coach, to be back under the Friday Night Lights first night game of the year. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's, it's going to be a, a little bit of a, I guess, some some normalcy. Um, you know, being able to get back under the lights and everything. So, yeah, definitely, Friday Night Lights is always nice to nice to have. Final thing we have for you, Coach, is our LaSalle body and fender injury status update. And uh, I think you already alluded to, uh, you know, people are wondering about uh, Tyler Hartman, who uh, was injured last week. Sounds like he will be out for uh, the Ottawa game. Yeah, it, it'll be it, it'll be a game time decision. But um, you know, he's been he's been doing pretty well. He's been recovering a little bit quicker than than expected. But yeah, he's uh, he's moving around uh, better. So we'll we'll definitely kind of make that make, make that decision uh, before the game and, and see how things uh, see how he's feeling and. You never know. He's he's a young kid. It's Ottawa, you know, and and plus we're that adrenaline starts kicking in. So he might we might we might see him in a, in a series or two, or or, or just kind of see how play by ear and see how he, he's doing. Anybody else uh, from last week to this week? Or are you pretty healthy? Other no, than just, uh... yeah, other than you know, pretty much everybody's pretty healthy. Uh, you know, just same old bumps and bruises and stuff like that. But uh, you know, that's that's football. Yeah, no doubt about it. And uh, coach, uh, let's hope uh, to move to three and zero uh, and keep continue this season with an unbeaten record and and uh, beat uh, those pirates. So good luck tonight, coach. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of things feel out of control these days, so it's time you pick your battles. Skip playing referee in the morning. Skip laundry this week. Skip game limits today. Skip cooking tonight. New realities require new routines, and it's okay to skip some of the old ones. But don't skip your preteens' well visits and recommended and catch-up vaccinations. A public service announcement from Vaccinate Your Family in collaboration with Merck. Welcome back here to Howard Fellow Stadium. Jeremy Aiken and Brandon Lachance as uh, both teams are out of the locker room. And... Uh, we we'll get our uh, pregame show wrapped up here and uh, going to bring you the weather of the game. And uh, it's turned out to be a nice night. It's a little windy, but uh, thankfully the rain is so far held off. Tonight's weather, uh, game time weather, is brought to you by Town & Country Services. Whether it's hot, cold, dark, or light, Town & Country Services is doing whatever it takes 24-7. Go to townandcountryservices.com to find out more. As we get ready for kickoff, it's... Uh, I guess you'd say probably partly sunny as the sun is shining now. There's some clouds in the sky, but a lot of blue here at Howard Fellow Stadium. We've got 61 degrees at uh, the historic Howard Fellow Stadium as we get set for kickoff. And again, the wind howling at times, I'd say, pretty much out of the west, which means it's blowing right at us, Brandon. Yes, and I'm not complaining, but the sun is right in our face. I kind of <laughs> like it. We can still see the game. I'm ready for this. 
Hopefully we can see the game. Yeah, that'd be uh, kind of tough if we were trying to do this broadcast and just kind of guessing. Uh, the coin toss was won by Ottawa, and they've chosen to defer. Tonight's coin toss brought to you by Hometown National Bank. Don't leave your financial future up to a coin toss. Let the folks at Hometown National Bank help. And uh, we're about ready for kickoff here. Back deep for the Cavaliers will be Drake Weber and Trayvon Hunter, and uh, we see it, and uh, the ball blows off the tee. They're probably going to have to have a teammate come and help Cam Loomis. We'll see if the, it stays on the tee or not here. Here we go. Ottawa kicking off north to south, and it is taken by Drake Webber at about the 18. 25. Drake at the 30. Down the sideline. 40. 50. He's got two men to beat at the Ottawa 40. Turns it inside all the way down to the Pirate 35-yard line. That opening kickoff brought to you by Eureka Savings Bank since 1885. Eureka Savings Bank has been proud to be a part of this community, helping people just like you. Eureka Savings Bank member FDIC. That's a way to start with Drake Weber uh, back, and he got down the sideline in front of the Ottawa bench and a big return all the way to the Pirate 35-yard line. I mean, that's the way you always want to start a game. Yeah. You're on the other team's territory. You're already more than halfway there. That's how you want to start the game. Let's see who is at quarterback, and I see Whitfield on the bench, so it would appear to be Tyler Hartman is out there, the senior QB. As uh, the Cavs come out of the huddle, well, it looks like they're going with like a Wildcat here. And they will start with the Wildcat. Uh, Trayvon Hunter turns it inside. He's inside the 30, down to about the 28-yard line. So uh, that's the first time LP has shown the Wildcat this season. And it goes for almost eight yards on the carry by Trayvon Hunter. I like Coach Jose Medina mixing things up. You got a quarterback that could be injured or he's playing kind of hurt. Why not switch things up to give him some rest, some relief, even at the beginning of the game? Yeah, Hartman is on the bench. Whitfield now will come in under center. It's second down and three for the Cavaliers at the 28-yard line of Ottawa. Whitfield hands it off to Carrico, and Matt's got the first down to the 25-yard line. First and 10 LP at the Pirate 25. Cavaliers 2-0, wins over Rochelle and Plano. Again, Ottawa 0-3 with losses to Morris, Sycamore, and Plano. Sun shining here at Howard Fellows Stadium. Just inside the 25-yard line of Ottawa. Sean Whitfield, the junior, in at quarterback. And Whitfield was going to run the option, but nobody was in the backfield, so a busted play. And the two Pirates with the tackle there, Luke Poffenbarger and also Brandon Aguirre. Um, yeah, the backfield was empty, so Whitfield had to take it himself, and Sean goes down for a loss of three on that play. So uh, first negative play of the evening for the LP Cavaliers. He yeah, unfortunately had nowhere to go, and no. they were closed in the gap real fast. Yeah, this Ottawa defense uh, has given up not much in the first half this season, only 20 points. And, again, they've played teams like Morris and Sycamore. And Cavaliers offense has uh, tended to be slow starting. Straight drop back pass by Whitfield. Sean's going to roll right. He's looking, still looking, throws to the sideline. It's caught by Reese Kurtz. And he's got, it uh, looks like to be a first down. He's out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Gain of 14 yards, and that is a, should be a Cavalier first down as they're waiting to move the chains. Whitfield fired it into Kurtz. First down, Cavaliers, and just like that, LP is in the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone. Illinois Valley Credit Union now offering Visa cards with interest rates as low as 9.9%. Contact IVCU today for all the details. Two minutes in, Whitfield again runs the opposite way of his backs. And Sean's going to be taken down. I was talking about adjustments from Coach Medina. He might have to make an adjustment on that. The yeah. keeper's not working. Yeah, I don't, I, want, Brent, I don't know if it was meant to be a keeper. It seems like the, the two times that Whitfield has ran the ball, I mean, you would think they'd be running the option perhaps, but he's had no backs going with him. And then Ottawa's had two or three guys waiting for Whitfield. So that's a loss of one, second down and 11 for the Cavs at the Ottawa 16-yard line. Can we call it the keeper option? I guess so, but uh, <laughs> it has not went well so far. There's an option pitch, Whitfield. And it's at the 15 to 10, spinning down to about the seven-yard line with the carry. Let's see. 
And I, Mike Porter, or, or he's confused as well. I don't have an 11 on the Ada or the LP roster. That is who carried the ball. So I'll have to try to find out who that mysterious ball carrier is. I know the PA didn't know who it was either. But right after we were talking about the option, then they play it and right. they get a gain of 10 and it looked really good. So now it's third and one LP at the Ottawa six yard line. Whitfield back under center for the Cavs. You run the option. Sean turns it inside. Hold on to the ball. He does. I think he's going to be stopped short of the first down. Making the tackle for Ottawa was Kevin Hernandez, one of the big guys up front of the defensive line. Yeah, I see the four still on the uh, chains over there. Yeah, fourth and inches for the Cavaliers. So a big early play here. LP, fourth and inches inside the Ottawa five-yard line. We're at the opening drive of this football game. And uh, this drive was aided in a big way by a, a big opening kickoff return for Drake Weber. Fourth and inches for LP. Cavaliers trying to get everybody in position here. Whitfield going to try the hard count for a little bit, see if he can draw a pirate offside. So far, he can't. Whitfield, the keeper. Sean puts his head down, fumbled it. Are they going to say he got over the end zone, or are they going to say it's a touchback? He fumbled it into the end zone, and Ottawa recovers. So a tough break. It was one of those plays where you would review it if you could and see if he broke the plane before he fumbled, but the ball came out, and a costly early turnover. Whitfield fumbles it in the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Turnover, LP. LP's left some points on the board this season, and let's hope that doesn't come back and haunt them here this evening. So the Pirates now will take over on offense, and their quarterback is a junior, Braden Miller, and uh, they'll throw the football. We were saying about LP, the home game we saw two weeks ago against Rochelle. Plenty of red zone opportunities yeah. and didn't get it going really till the second half in terms of scoring touchdowns. In the pistol is Miller for Ottawa. He'll hand it off to the lone back, and he is hit hard immediately. Trayvon Hunter finished Number off the tackle. Looked like, though, initially on the hit for LP was uh, Ethan Tarkowski, number four. That'll go as a loss of one for the Pirate ball carrier. Second 11 Ottawa at their own 19-yard line. Uh, we mentioned Ottawa will throw the ball. They're averaging uh, 112 yards passing a game. Not sure if LP will get much more than that this season. There's a handoff off right tackle, and several Cavaliers are there. Levi Reed, last week's player of the game, was in the area. So was Weston Wenzel. And this LP defense has been fantastic early on in the season. And uh, let's see if it's uh, – they didn't give up their first score of the year until last week in the fourth quarter against uh, Plano. So they went seven full quarters without giving up any points this season. That's awesome. I mean, we've seen yeah. the defense just be monsters everywhere all over the ball, whether it's secondary at the line, middle linebackers, just playing really great defense so far this year. Third and long, Miller will pass. He's got some time, throwing deep over the middle, has a receiver. Oh, he just missed him. He overthrew Briar Nags. Nags got out in the open with Sean Whitfield in coverage. Man, they just missed hooking up on that long pass play. Nice throw by Miller, but just a little too much on it for the intended receiver, Nags. And Audible will go three and out, punting to the Cavaliers. And if they connect on that, that's six. That's a touchdown. Yeah. He was gone. Oswaldo Hernandez, who had a uh, touchdown reception last week, will go back to return the punt for the Cavaliers. The uh, Pirate punter standing at his own five-yard line. Snap is good. And the kick is into the win. And going out of bounds, off the side of the foot. We've seen that before here at the stadium this season. That punt did not go for very far. Joe Vonick for Ottawa. So LP will start this drive at the Ottawa 32-yard line. Yeah, it seems like uh, the wind just loves Howard Fellow Stadium yeah. so far this year. Every time we've been here, it's just really windy and catches the ball if it gets in the right spot. So that's going to be key as both teams are going to have to play uh, play that field position game with and against the wind. It was a big factor last week in Plano as well. First and 10 Cavaliers. 
Whitfield hands it off to Carrico, and he doesn't get much at all. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Actually, that was Larios with the carry. So Carlos with his first carry of the evening. Luke Poffenberger came from his linebacker spot to make the tackle. No gain for LP at second and 10. Again, it's Sean Whitfield, at least at quarterback to start this uh, game. We'll see if we see Tyler Hartman. He was warming up, and he is in uniform. He's got his gloves on. He's ready to go. Under six minutes to go in this first quarter, scoreless between the Cavs and Pirates. Whitfield with a quarterback. Keeper goes over the pile. He's at the 30. Still going. 25. The whistle's not blown. Sean is all the way inside the 20-yard line. What an effort by the junior quarterback. He broke free from the pile and almost broke free towards the end zone. Whitfield with a gain of about 14 yards. That's a Cavalier first down, and just like that, LP back in the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone. Between him, his legs continually sleep turning, yeah. and the line just pushing everybody else out of the way, he got through. And credit the officials for not uh, jumping the gun and blowing the whistle early and letting him uh, continue his forward progress. Because it looked like it stopped, yeah. and then all of a sudden you see him keep going. Whitfield, another keeper, and Sean's going to be brought down by about five or six different Pirates. So he's been active so far. Whitfield down about the 16, gives Sean two yards on that carry. It'll be second down and eight. Two-yard gain on the play. It'll be second and eight from the Ottawa, 16. I don't know if you've seen it, but the block by number 48 for LP was huge. Oh, just uh, Levi Reed. Threw yeah. that guy out of his way. Levi, poor, Levi. poor Pirate just took about five <laughs> yards by a push. Levi, again, was our player of the game last week. He was a menace on defense against Plano, was all over the field. He is full of energy, by the way, and he's on the sideline now, and he won't be able to stand still. Second down and eight for LP. Whitfield hands it off to, uh, and there's a pile moving again. I'll have to check and see if it was Carrico or Larios. And it is uh, Carlos Larios with the carry. He needed eight for the first down, and he got about seven. So it'll be third and one LP at the Ottawa nine-yard line. So the Pirates... Turned LP away the first time due to a turnover against the Cavs. Let's see if the Cavaliers can punch it in this time. Four minutes to go in this first quarter. Sean Whitfield hands it off again, off the right tackle. Not much there. They only needed a yard, though, and he got it. That was Carlos Larios. Moved the chains down to the Ottawa 7. Gave him two yards on the carry. And I know after a break, breakout year last year to have him back after yeah. missing the first couple games with injuries. You know, Medina and LP definitely happy to have him out there. Well, and the fact that the luxury now with Matt Carrico uh, stepping up in a big way to have both of them guys um, out of the uh, backfield be able to switch him out and keep him uh, as fresh as they can. Yeah, having a two-headed running back game, yeah. that's always a plus. There's Larios again. The pile moves inside the five for LP. They'll mark it at the two. So Carlos gets five on that carry. It'll be second down and goal from the Ottawa two-yard line, counting down to three minutes to go. Of course, LP in their home green with the uh, white numbers, red trim. Ottawa in their road white uniforms, red numbers. Red lettering as well. Second and goal at the two. Whitfield under center for LP. Sean going to hand it off to Carlos Larios. Touchdown, LP. Carlos Larios with that LP touchdown, which is brought to you by Town & Country Services, doing whatever it takes 24-7. Plumbing, electric, heating, and cooling for over 100 years. Go to townandcountryservices.com to find out more. At 2.52 of this first quarter, the Cavaliers strike first. A two-yard touchdown run by the senior back, Carlos Larios. And LP takes a 6-0 lead over Ottawa, pending the extra point attempt by Drake Weber. Again, this is LP. This has struggled a little bit on this. High snap. The hold gets it down. The kick is up, and it's plenty good. 7-0 LP after that point after, and it's brought to you by Financial Plus Credit Union. They belong to you, and that's the plus at Financial Plus Credit Union in Peru, Ottawa, Mendota, Morris, and Diamond. So 2.52 to go in the first. It's LP7, Ottawa nothing. Some other games we'll be uh, looking at some scores for tonight. There's two other Interstate 8 battles. Uh, actually, three other. Uh, Plano at Caneland, Sycamore at Morris, and Sandwich at Rochelle. 
And just some other games going on uh, tonight. Hall is at Kiwani. That game's over on 99.3 WNJK. Mendota's home to Rock Falls. Fieldcrest home to uh, El Paso Gridley. Marquette hosting Ridgewood. Princeton's on the road tonight against Orion. Seneca home to Moments. And Streeter is at Mantino. So we'll have uh, some Subway scoreboard updates throughout the night. As Friday Night Lights, our first edition, at least for LP this year. And uh, that'll be the case the rest of the year. Then uh, the last two games after this will be Friday at 6 o'clock. Morris uh, next week. And they got the turf as well installed. That'll be a true test. That'll be tough. Yeah, the Redskins uh, always, obviously, one of your top programs uh, each year in, in high school football in Illinois. Drake Weber with the kickoff, and it's going to be a touchback. So a uh, nice kick by Drake Weber. Drake Weber with the touchback. want to say hello. Uh, listening on uh, the app, Brandon, is uh, the LP superintendent, Steve Robleski. Uh, the doctor says uh, he and his son are watching the game. Oh, they're watching the game, okay, as they drive through New Mexico on their way home from Arizona. So uh, I have to ask Steve what the temperatures have been out there in New Mexico. Um, right now I said it was 61 at kickoff here, which isn't too bad. And, Not uh, bad at all. But I'm sure a little warmer in Mexico. Hey, so, he's uh, kind of made me jealous just a little bit. <laughs> but we're watching football, right? Eh, so maybe not that yeah. jealous. So we uh, urge you again, yeah, go check out Star Rock Media's YouTube page. Uh, if you uh, or just want to listen to the game, download the WLPO app and listen anywhere in the world. Hand off to the back for Ottawa. That ball carrier was Bryant Shomas, and uh, he got maybe a yard. Uh, they'll give him two off left tackle. Second down and eight coming up for Ottawa. Now Hartman, Tyler's out there on defense. Interesting. He's playing linebacker for the Cavs. So Tyler's in there, the senior, who was banged up last week against Plano. Maybe to give them some run, see how, you know, it's working yeah. out and put them back in quarterback if they need them. Second and eight, Ottawa's going to spread this baby out. They got three receivers to the left of the quarterback. Miller, and he hands it off to the lone back up the middle. Pretty good running room as they spread things out against LP. And the ball carrier for the Pirates was Javarius Whitfield. Murtis gets the tackle, but Whitfield gains out to the 28-yard line. Gain of six, it'll be third and two for Ottawa. They're going to spread things out again with three receivers to the left. Back to uh, the running back. He's hit hard, but he's got a first down. The tackle made by Byron Verdun, but not until a first down run by Javarius Whitfield. So Ottawa seeing something here with this uh, trip set. Three receivers to spread the LP defense out a little bit, and they've ran uh, pretty good success up the middle. Last two carries. They're out at the LP, or at their own 33-yard line. First and 10, Ottawa. 7-0 LP over the Pirates. They'll stick with that three receiver set, one back behind the quarterback, Braden Miller. Miller is going to hand it off again, and not much there. Ran up the middle. Drake Weber made the initial hit for LP. Tyler Hartman helped Weber finish the ball carrier off. Again, that was Javarius Whitfield. No gain on that play. Ottawa comes in uh, having far more success in the air than on the ground. 112 yards passing a game and 51 on the ground. They've yet to complete a pass tonight. I mean, they were close to uh, connecting on a bomb. Uh, here is, oh, they had a little miscommunication. Late handoff to uh, to the running back. That was Whitfield. Drake Weber made another big hit for LP. And he gets one yard on that carry. It'll be third down and nine. So LP defense forcing Ottawa into a third and long situation. That's always what you want to do as a defense, force the other team into a third and long situation. And so far, they've been doing it pretty much all year. A lot. Yes. <laughs> like, it's a very frequent conversation we're having here watching LP. Right. Two receivers set this time for the quarterback, Braden Miller. Left-handed quarterback. He's going to pass. He's got some time throwing. Has a man open. Complete for the first down out to the 44-yard line. That was Joe Ivanik. With the catch for Ottawa, first down Pirates. So, uh, Braden Miller, he's six foot three, which you love to see as a quarterback, and he's left left handed as well. The southpaw. 
That's going to be the last play of this first quarter. Pretty quick moving quarter. LP leading Ottawa 7-0. We'll be back with the second quarter on 103.9 WLPO right after this. When a play breaks down on the football field, you've got the rest of the game to make up for it. When something breaks down at home, you need prompted professional service. That's why at Town & Country Services, their phones are manned 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to ensure that your problems and questions with plumbing, heating, and cooling are all taken care of promptly and professionally. Town & Country Services offer free estimates and affordable rates. Their licensed professionals and friendly staff have been a staple in the Illinois Valley since 1919. Give them a call anytime in Tonica at 815-442-3415 or Princeton at 815-872. 2200. Switching is easy. We do it all the time. We switch on the lights. We switch TV channels. Some of us switch partners while square dancing. Well, that's a stretch. But what's not a stretch is how you can switch and save with State Farm. In fact, State Farm agent Jessica Strauch, right here in Peru, can switch you over so you can start saving today. Jessica and her team are ready to welcome you to the State Farm neighborhood. With Jessica Strauch, it's easy to switch and save. This is Jessica Strauch. Give me a call. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. When you open up your credit card bill, is it more like a romance or a scary movie? Change up the way you see your bill each month with Visa cards from Illinois Valley Credit Union. Get the Visa Classic card or the Visa Platinum card with rates starting as low as 9.9% APR with annual fees and a 25-day grace period. Enjoy the worldwide acceptance and convenience of Visa with the hometown service of Illinois Valley Credit Union. Get started today at IVCU.com. Illinois Valley Credit Union with locations in Peru and Princeton. Member in UA. Start your day with Rod and Tom then get updates throughout the day. On 103.9 WLPO, Star Rock News, Talk, and Classic Rock. Jeremy Aiken, Brandon Lachance back as Ottawa runs with Javaris Whitfield, and he gets nothing. In fact, he lost a yard on the first play of the second quarter. It's now second down and 11 for Ottawa at their own 44-yard line. 7 nothing LP. Empty backfield. They're going to throw to Whitfield out of the backfield in a screen. He tries to shed a few tacklers from LP. But tracking him down was Reed Robisa, number 59 for the Cavaliers. Drake Weber was out there as well, along with Luke Murtis. So they did a little screen, emptied the backfield, trying to get Whitfield out in the open space with his speed. But uh, he lost two more yards on the play. So it's third and 13. Here we go again. The LP Cavalier defense forcing an opponent in a third and long situation. And after not seeing Javaris Whitfield at all, the first possession, he's pretty much yeah. dominated this possession that they've had here he's been the workhorse four receivers set for ottawa whitfield's the only back behind braden miller two receivers to each side of the quarterback now he empties the backfield throwing deep has a man and just overthrew him man getting behind the defense again was briar nags sean whitfield was the closest cavalier on the, the coverage incomplete fell uh, harmless to the turf on the lp sideline and it's fourth and 13 now, and uh, a punting situation for the Ottawa Pirates. The defense does have to pay attention to that, too, though, too, because if yeah. they catch either one of those long passes, yeah. those are touchdowns. Yeah, Ottawa's been able to get behind uh, the LP secondary, but uh, fortunately the ball has fallen incomplete. 10.27 to go in this first half, LP 7 nothing over Ottawa. Back to punt for Ottawa's. Ryder Miller's blocked. It's a block. Trayvon Hunter, I believe, blocked it for LP. Ottawa will recover it, but all the way back at their 16-yard line, Trayvon Hunter with the block punt. And Trayvon's done a little of everything this year. He had that highlight reel interception against Rochelle. Yeah, He's been pretty good offensively when he's had his number called, and he blocks the punt of Ottawa right there. So the Cavaliers in business just like that, starting this drive in the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone at the Pirates' 16-yard line. Way to keep it going. I mean, yeah. just defense everywhere, all the time. Special teams just as important. Defense, special teams, and offense. Ottawa will be looking to click on all three cylinders. There's a handoff up to middle, and that was Carrico. And he's inside the 10-yard line, down to about the 9. Give Matt 7 yards on that carry. It'll be second and 3, LP at the Ottawa 9-yard line. 10 minutes to go in this second quarter. LP looking to add to their 7-0 lead. Whitfield is still in at quarterback. Carrico behind him. 
Block punt by Trayvon Hunter, setting up LP in great field position. There's Carrico off left tackle. Got a couple at least. I don't know if he got the first down or not. We've not seen an indication. Looks like it's going to be third down and inches. Now LP is showing us what we were talking about with the double-headed running game here. Yeah, They can give it to many people and get yards and keep moving the chains. Yeah, the one touchdown was by Carlos Larios. And uh, Carrico has ran the ball first few times of this possession. Matt is still in the game at running back. He's flanked by Drake Weber. And Whitfield taking his time here. Play clock down to seven. Play clock's right in front of Sean, so he should be able to see it. Whitfield's going to keep it and turns it inside, gets in the end zone. Touchdown. Pretty much untouched was Whitfield. Got behind a couple of his offensive linemen and ran it in from six yards out with exactly nine minutes to go here in the second quarter. And after the block punt, the Cavaliers lead the Pirates 13-0 with a PAT pending with Drake Weber. And once again, that LP touchdown is brought to you by Town & Country Services. Doing whatever it takes 24-7, plumbing, electric, heating, and cooling for over 100 years. Go to townandcountryservices.com to find out more. And here is Drake. PAT, it's a low snap, and they're going to have to throw it. And it's caught, but he's kept out of the end zone. So that it continues to be an issue for the Cavaliers. Nine minutes to go in this first half. 13-0 LP over Ottawa. Again, the Cavaliers could have had you could another score, but they fumbled it in the end zone on their first drive of this football game. Let's check and see if we can see any early scores. Now, some games uh, tonight be kicking off at 7 o'clock. But uh, all the games in the Interstate 8 kick off at 6 o'clock. Uh, Mendota with an early lead over Rock Falls in the first quarter, 7 to nothing. That's good for the Trojans. Get a little lead. Haven't won a, a game in a little while. Going on to last year as well. So have a little little lead. Hopefully, you know, they can hold on to that. And I uh, got to score Morris leading Sycamore early on 7 nothing. That's a battle of powerhouses there. And here it is, LP 13 nothing over their arch rival, Ottawa. Drake Weber to do the kicking. He uh, kicked the touchback last time. Nine minutes to go. Sun shining brightly here at Howard Fellows Stadium. Drake with the approach and the kick. This one will not be a touchback. Whitfield will take it inside his 10 for Ottawa. He's at the 20, the 25, 30, 35, 40, and knocked down. Uh-oh, Drake Weber is hurt. Drake uh, slowed the runner down. Drake was a little shaken up. Now he's up. Might have hurt his hand. He's shaking his arm, yeah. looking at his hand. So uh, the senior kicker had to make the tackle there. Whitfield may have went a long way to the end zone. As it stands, still a really good return for the Ottawa junior, Javaris Whitfield. Pirates will have a good starting field position at their own 42-yard line. 13-0 LP, 8.50 to go in this second quarter. Whitfield is like a little truck. He just keeps moving yeah. and just barreling people over. Nice running back for the Pirates again, just a junior. They're very young. Uh, Miller hands it off. No, he kept it. Oh, and he's hammered down. The quarterback taken down by Chris Swain. I think he meant to hand it off, and he and the running back had a little issue. Bryant Shomas and uh, Chris Swain came in and hammered the quarterback. So give Swain a quarterback sack. The junior linebacker for the Cavaliers, number 21. And uh, Ottawa heading backwards once again. It's second down and about 14 after a four-yard loss. Uh, 13, 13 to 14 here coming up. Eight minutes to go in the first half. 13 nothing LP. Braden Miller, eh, the quarterback. This time he does hand it off to Shomas. Shomas is out past the 40. Tackled at about the 42, maybe the 43 yard line. The bottom of the pile for LP was Tyler Hartman. Weston Wenzel there as well. So really just kind of got the yards back that they yes. lost last time. Yep. Yeah, they'll give him four. So, yeah, as Brandon mentioned, it's third down, 
And about 10 for Ottawa. Neither team has used the timeout. Back in the pistol is Miller. Shomas the lone back. He's in a pass. Hartman putting pressure on, throwing towards the sideline as a man wide open. And he stepped out of bounds after the catch. Wow, wide open was Jacob Serby. It even stopped after he caught it, looked, and then tried to go, and then the refs blew the whistles. He knew he stepped out of bounds. But that's another completion there uh, down to the LP 43-yard line. So uh, Serby got wide open in the LP secondary. First and 10 Ottawa. Clock stopped at 7.20 here in the second quarter. Lefty quarterback Miller barking out the signals for Ottawa. And he's going to hand it off to the running back off right tackle with Shomis. Not a lot there. Shomis Levi Reed brought down uh, number 48. Reed. with the tackle for LP. Also in the area the was Carson Merwicki. Braden Miller definitely showing that he's got an arm and he yeah. can read the field. Just overthrew a couple people. But if he starts getting on target, LP defense secondary is going to have to step it up. Yeah, it's the first team. Uh, I mean, Plano threw the ball a little bit. Rochelle definitely, you know, didn't didn't throw the ball at all, really. They didn't move the ball at all. No, they didn't move it at all. <laughs> so this is the first team that LP's seen so far early on that uh, will spread it out and throw the football. Miller fakes the handoff, going to throw deep, up for grabs, has a man, caught at the front. No, he dropped it. Wow, he had a receiver open, and then a nice play for LP. It was Ethan Tarkowski who was able to knock it away. It was right in Nags' uh, breadbasket. Briar Nags got behind again the LP defense and should have been six, but uh, a defensive play made by Ethan Tarkowski kept Ottawa out of the end zone. And when Nags went to go bring it down, Ethan just swatted at it, yeah. knocked it right out of his arms. Great defensive play. Nags has gotten behind LP's defense three times tonight. That was the closest he's come to hauling one in. He is uh, limping a little bit now. Yeah. Nags is limping just a tad. I don't know if he, uh, when it dropped out of his hands, kind of stutter stepped. And there's a quarterback sack. Oh, Levi oh, Reed oh, takes oh, down oh, Meyer oh, or oh, Miller. Oh, and Levi, last week's player of the game, making noise again this evening with a quarterback sack. That's a loss of eight on the sack. Ottawa fourth and about 16 now. And they're going to come out and look to punt. you got to be careful here now, though, because they're in the LP side of the football field. Back deep for the Cavaliers is Osvaldo Hernandez. Back to punt for Ottawa is Ryder Miller. Last time, Trayvon Hunter got the block. Let's see if LP brings some heat again. If both squads have issues with the special teams in terms of punting and things like that. There's a punt going to take an out of a bounce at about the 25 and rest just inside the 25-yard line down on the play by Brandon Aguirre for Ottawa. So LP will start first and 10 from their own 25-yard line. 13-0 LP with 5.37 to go here in this second quarter. But it's kind of a win-win for both squads. Ottawa got it a little further down the field, so they're not LP didn't start in their territory, and LP got the you know lucky bounce and started at their 25. So it wasn't like they were in bad position either. So Sean Whitfield again will stay at quarterback, and we've been seeing Tyler Hartman on defense and not offense this evening. And uh, it's like a Cavalier getting some uh, Byron uh, Verdun getting some attention from the trainer. First and ten, LP. They're going to pitch it. And we need to find out who this guy is because he's at the 30 to 35 out at the 40-yard line. Let's see if Mike Porter's figured it out yet, the PA. And, uh, again, still haven't found out who this Cavalier player is. He's fast, he's shifty, <laughs> and he's jumping around happy to be out there. It sounds like Barry Sanders to me, fast and shifty. He's at the 42-yard line. That's a first down run. We'll try to find out. Uh, who that player is because he had a nice run there for the Cavaliers. Yeah, there, he has not played in the first two games, or if he has, he switched numbers here tonight. Player we don't know, 17-yard gain. Well, I know LP likes it. There's Whitfield. Sean's at the 50, oh, and he brought short just shy of the 50. 
taken down. A good hit by Dylan Quatrano for Ottawa, only a sophomore. Whitfield, boy, looked like he had a lot of running room, but Quatrano took him down just inside the 50. Second and three coming up for the Cavaliers. Under five minutes to go in the second quarter. Cavaliers looking to add to their 13 to nothing lead. Whitfield under center, and they hand it off. It's Carrico. Not much there for Matt. He didn't get the first down. He probably got back to the line of scrimmage. That's about it. Carrico with the carry. Nice job by the Pirates up front. Actually, yeah, they're going to say he lost the yard back to the 48. So it'll be third down and a long three, a short four, I guess you could say. Does media get a flag where we can throw it in and say, hey, we want to respot? Can we do that? Yeah, you think? Yeah, I thought he got back to the line of scrimmage, but loss of one, third and four LP. Whitfield, the keeper. Sean's got the first down and more at the Ottawa 40, down to about the 38-yard line. So just a straight-up quarterback keeper for Whitfield. Following Reese Kurtz, also out there blocking was Will Doherty. They didn't need our spotting help. No, they Obviously, they didn't need us. First and 10 LP at the Ottawa 39-yard line. Still three timeouts to go, uh, and LP may start looking at that because uh, when this ball is snapped, there'll be about three and a half minutes to go in this half. And uh, Dr. Robleski says it is Corey Walker, a junior, number 11. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. And he said it's 84 where he's at. Yes, he did say it's 84. Yeah. There is a Whitfield with the carry. Down about the 36-yard line. So we will add uh, Corey Walker to our roster. Actually remember watching him play baseball as an eighth grader. He is very, very fast. He's a really good shortstop. So now he's just taking it to the football field. <laughs> Easy transition, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody can do it. You're right. Second down and about seven for LP. They empty the backfield. Whitfield throwing out in the flat. To Weber, who throws. He's got a man wide open. Caught. His knee was down, though. They did a wide receiver screen, and Weber passed it to Osvaldo Hernandez. Osvaldo, though, had to wait for the ball. LP had two guys at the end zone, nobody around them. And unfortunately, Hernandez made the catch, but couldn't keep his feet off or his knee off the turf, and they mark him down at the two yard line. So a trickery by LP, and it works. Almost went for six. And uh, do we got a timeout here? Is there, you know, we haven't had a flag yet tonight, have we? Oh, there is one. Maybe there's going to be, ah, that's probably coming back, isn't it? Yeah, they're Illegal walking formation. back. Wow, yeah. It was an interesting setup. I guess not a legal one. I mean, at this point, that was a play of the game. <laughs> yeah, that, well, that was awesome. Now it goes down as no play, unfortunately. <laughs> yep. So uh, Drake aired it out, and uh, Hernandez made the catch. But it's negated by an illegal formation. Yeah, that's the first flag of this evening. So well-played game on both sides for Ottawa and LP. Third and 12 now for the Cavs at the Pirate 41-yard line. Clock running now, 2.40 to go in the half. Again, each team has all timeouts remaining here. Whitfield's going to pass. Straight drop back. Sean has time. Throwing Drake Weber is open in the flat. 30-25. 21 man to beat. Drake turns on the burners and gets into the end zone. Touchdown, LP. What a play. Touchdown. By the senior, Drake Weber. It goes for 41 yards from Whitfield. He's like, all right, you're going to take my passing one away. I'll just catch it and run it in. That was awesome. Weber literally outran a couple pirate defenders. He got the angle on him and dove into the end zone. I had to wait a little bit for the... Uh, the judge there to mark a touchdown because he dove in and got in. 41 yards, Whitfield to Weber for LP. Uh, whistles blow. That one comes at 223 here at the second quarter. And L LP is going to take a timeout. First timeout we should mention again, of course, that LP touchdown is brought to you by Town & Country Services. Doing whatever it takes 24-7. Plumbing, electric, heating, and cooling for over 100 years. Go to townandcountryservices.com to find out more. 41-yard pass play. Uh, Whitfield to Weber. A lot of yak there. The yards after the catch by Weber. 
just a pass out in a flat, and Drake just turned on the Jets. Yeah, and he showed the burners there. Yeah. And uh, he was shaken up earlier, we mentioned, uh, making a tackle on special teams. But obviously Drake has uh, improved uh, his health from that injury and uh, made the big run and uh, almost had a touchdown pass. But it was called back on the penalty. And uh, let's see if they're going to go for two here. Most teams do when it's 19. They like to get that 21. And LP has kind of struggled on uh, the PAT attempts. They're going to run the Wildcat again. And a direct snap to Trayvon Hunter. Trayvon turns it in, gets in. Worked the first time, works the second time. Pick up those two points. And Trayvon Hunter with a two-point conversion. They belong to you, and that's the plus at Financial Plus Credit Union in Peru, Ottawa, Mendota, Morris, and Diamond. That's a Financial Plus Credit Union. Two-point conversion on the run by Trayvon Hunter. So with 2.23 to go in this second quarter, the Cavaliers have opened up a 21 to nothing lead over Ottawa. And again, the LP defense pitching a shutout. Quite the, I mean, that was a drive where LP had a little of everything, a long pass, a couple long pass plays. They show so, their versatility yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't just smash mouth, run up the middle football, which they can do very well as well. But uh, they opened things up a bit there, and the Cavaliers are rolling here at Howard Fellow Stadium over their rival Ottawa. Again, 21-0, 223 to go in this first half. Still patiently waiting for the sun to drop over those trees. <laughs> Still in our face, but of yeah. course, we can still see the game, so we're happy. Drake Weber with the kick, and it'll be taken at about the five. That will be Shomas for Ottawa. He turns it inside. Trayvon Hunter makes the tackle. Shomas going to be kept inside the 20, about the 19-yard line. So Trayvon Hunter, I think, putting his uh, throwing his helmet in the ring for player of the game. I think he does block. every day, yeah. or every game, yeah. every game. Had a block punt, had a, a two-point conversion run, had a nice tackle there on the kick return, doing literally everything here early on for LP over the Ottawa Pirates. And we still got another half to go, so he can still add to this resume. Yeah, Trayvon Hunter and uh, Sean Whitfield at quarterback with a run and a pass touchdown. Let's see if the Pirates, they will spread it out. They got three receivers to the left. Of Miller, one to his right. Empty out the backfield. Miller going to throw. It's incomplete. He was looking over the middle okay. for Ryder Miller. And uh, was too low off his fingertips. Second down and 10 coming up. Now, uh, Ottawa runs into the uh, danger zone here as if they throw some passes incomplete and hardly any time runs off, and they can give LP the football right back. And, again, the Cavaliers have three timeouts. Ottawa has used one timeout in this first half. And LP has had the field position, and if they yeah. stop here, they'd still have pretty good field position, even with the punt. Second and 10 for Ottawa. Let's see if LP can bring some pressure. They empty the backfield once again. They do bring pressure. Miller gets away from it. He's looking over the middle. Caught at the 30. And uh, that was Ryder Miller with the catch. Swain with the tackle. So he got out of the pocket, and it's a first down Ottawa. That gives them some breathing room. First and 10 from their own 34. First and 10 Ottawa at their own 34-yard line. Clock down to two minutes and counting. LP's actually used the timeout. I think I may have misspoke a bit ago and said Ottawa did. Ottawa's got all three timeouts. LP with two. Down to 145 here in the first half. 21-0 LP over Ottawa. Miller straight drop back. Levi Reed put pressure on him. They run the screen. Tyler Hartman read it. And he's going to bring down the receiver at about the 33-yard line. To number six. That was Shomas. But he lost about a yard. LP read that play from yes. the get-go and just jumped all over that. Hartman and Merwicki uh, with the stop for LP. Ottawa not using any timeouts yet. Counting down to about a minute. They're, they don't look like they're in much of a hurry. They'll get the ball to start the second half. 
as they won tonight's hometown National Bank coin toss. And they defer to the Cavs. Under a minute to go. It's second down and 10 for Ottawa. Oh, Hartman might have hit the neutral zone or Ottawa with a false start. Uh, yeah, it's going against Ottawa. So move the Pirates back five more yards. Oh, delay a game. Okay. Fifty-two seconds to go here in the first half. Ottawa timeout on the field. Now the Pirates will take a timeout. Regroup. See what they can do here. Yeah, they're kind of in a you know position where do they do they want to just? I mean, you're down twenty-one nothing. It almost seems kind of weird to. You know, go into the halftime down only 21 or only 21, but they're also pretty far back on their side of the field. And if you turn the ball over, gives LP great field position and a chance to maybe put up more points. So see if the Cavaliers will maybe start using timeouts here to try to get the football back. 21 nothing LP over Ottawa. 51.9 seconds to go as we uh, near our St. Margaret's Health halftime show. During the halftime show, we'll have uh, some stats from this first half. We'll have a second half adjustment. We'll have another scoreboard update from Subway. And the Cavaliers looking to move to 3-0 and in this spring season. 2-0 and at home if they can hang on to this win over Ottawa. Officials blowing the whistle, trying to get the Pirates back on the field. Even though we don't have the stands full like we right. wish, you know, regular times. You can just still feel the excitement and everybody just in love with this football team and what they've been able to do the last couple of years after going through, you know, a rather rough run right. for LP football. They had to break the playoff drought last year and uh, give Rochester all they wanted for a full half in the playoffs. There's uh, the quarterback throwing out to Whitfield, makes a shoestring catch. Rodaway's at the 40. 42-yard line brought down by a combination of Swain and Hunter. That was a different quarterback in there. That was Jacob Serby. And somebody's calling a timeout. It's going to be Ottawa after that gain. So they'll stop the clock at 38.4 seconds. Ball spotted at uh, about the 42-yard line. Short of the first down. We'll have a third and two. Third and two for the Pirates after this first or after this uh, timeout. Again, other games going on in the Interstate Eight tonight: Plano at Caneland, Morris home to Sycamore, Sandwich at Rochelle. LP will head to Morris next Friday night. And uh, I believe uh, games will be starting here pretty soon for the quote-unquote summer sports, baseball, softball, track and field. I know practices have already started. Yeah, they're ready. <laughs> they're yeah, ready. That's... I see the coaches and players' Twitters and Facebooks, yeah. and they're ready for the sports to begin. They got some practices in, and now they're ready. Well, those are the sports, unfortunately, that got totally wiped out a year ago. I mean, didn't even have any season. You know, yeah, The, the spring sports. 38.4 seconds to go. It's third and two Ottawa. Miller back in, throws at the sideline, caught first down. Pirates, he's out of bounds. That was Jacob Serby. And they mark it up at the 48-yard line. That's a gain of six, just needed two for a first down. Tackle for LP made by Ethan Bell. I spoke with LP soccer coach Kristen Pappas, and she was like, if we don't get the season in, that's two years we haven't <laughs> been able to play, and we're the only sport at LP that hasn't been able to play yeah. anything. Yeah. So she was like, all right, we better have one this year. We need a season. Three receivers to the right of Miller, one to his left. Whitfield the lone back. Clock has stopped as they were able to get out of bounds. Miller going to throw over the middle. Incomplete. There was coverage by Verdun and also Swain. And Ottawa's looking. I don't know if there was a penalty. No. Nope. For number 13, Miller. They want no one. flags. Yeah, it looked like Ottawa's wanting one, but no flags on the field. Second down and 10 coming up. That play just took a few seconds off the clock. About 28 ticks to go here in the first half. Second down and 10, Ottawa at their own 48. 21 nothing LP over the Pirates. 
And as Brandon mentioned, the sun slowly but surely setting. Just got to get over the top <laughs> peak of those trees and it'll be awesome. Because it'll still be bright, but yep. it won't be in our eyes. The lights have been on from the beginning. Miller uh, looking for the pass out in the uh, flat. And it's made in a nice, nice open field tackle by David Narkis, who had an interception last week. I mean, if, if David doesn't make that tackle, Brandon, there was nothing but open field for the Ottawa receiver. It literally was him and the Ottawa receiver alone on this side of the field, and Narkis brought him down, and David brought him down without, you know, a face mask or anything like that. Ottawa will take a timeout with only 2.2 seconds. It's almost like they just decided to call a timeout. They weren't going to, but then they did before time ran out. 2.2 seconds to go. Yeah, if he doesn't make that open field tackle, oh, man, that was a really, really well done tackle because he was gone. Like you said, there was nobody there on no. that side of the field whatsoever. So 2.2 seconds to go. Ottawa has one more play to try to do something here in the first half. LP leading their arch rival 21 to nothing. And, uh, again, LP received the ball to start this game. Yeah, it's a, a very big, I mean, as big as it can be, obviously, with the limitations. Ottawa fans are right down in front of us in Section C, and LP with a nice contingent. And again, normally on a night like this, this would be pretty much a full house with Ottawa and LP. Hopefully we get back to that in the fall. Full house, and you got a full road above the hill, yep. full fence behind us. Always standing room only for this game. Third down and nine. 2.2 seconds to go. Ottawa with one more play. They got two receivers to the left, two to the right. I would assume Miller would just air one out here. LP only bringing three on the line. Miller going to throw deep, and it's up for grabs. Incomplete. And that's the end of the half. Oh, LP's going to get a personal foul. It wasn't a hard hit by any means, but uh, it was. And the, the half cannot end on a penalty. As Narcus hit Nags, the play was dead. Again, it wasn't a real vicious hit, but still made contact with the Ottawa receiver. It's kind of like when you're running really fast and then you stop and you got a pad, so you just kind of like <laughs> touch him and then he... Yeah, that's an Ottawa LP kind of yeah, play right yeah. there, right? A little yeah. love tap. Then Nags kind of like fell, dove right, outside, right. and yeah, that's... But I, I, I agree with the officials. That's probably one you call. Um, could easily pull it up probably and avoid it all contact at all at all. So we have no time left. Again, Ottawa will have a shot at it. The officials are talking it over. Two flags flew. The contact was inside the 20 of LP. Obviously, it's a personal foul, and that'll give Ottawa a first down and one play to go here. It's a dead ball foul, personal foul. Call I do agree with you, though. It was a good yeah. call. Yeah, it's one to call. Again, uh, thankfully, it wasn't like a hard hit, and, and uh, Nags wasn't injured or went flying into the wall by any means. But I was talking like a player or a fan. <laughs> You're like, oh, that's nothing. But, yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a call. You should have yeah. blown that. So down. it'll be first and 10 LP, or, uh, Ottawa at the 30-70 yard line. 37 yard line. So now they do trips to the left of Miller. One last play in the first half. LP in the prevent defense. Miller stepping up. He's under pressure by Hartman. Tyler going to bring him down. The quarterback is brought down. Tyler Hartman with a sack to end the half. He's not playing offense, but making noise on defense tonight. So we've played a half of football from Howard Fellow Stadium. It's all LP. They lead the Pirates. Or do we have another flag? The teams haven't left the field. What we got going on? Ottawa's chirping with the uh, the officials. We have Ottawa coach Chad Gross putting yeah. up his arms like, hey, what's going on? Can he just put his head down? <laughs> walking yeah. away, not excited. So I guess it is the end of the half. I'm just making sure to see if there weren't any flags, another dead ball penalty. It, it, nothing there. So LP leads Ottawa at the half, 21 to nothing. We'll have some first half numbers coming up after this on your home for LP Cavalier football, 103.9 WLPO. 
You can get pretty banged up playing football if you're not careful. And sometimes, no matter how careful you are, your car gets banged up due to an accident. If you've had an accident, LaSalle Body and Fender will help you score the best deal in auto body, fender, collision, and dent repair. LaSalle Body and Fender's been in the Illinois Valley providing excellent auto repair for three generations, and they work with all insurance companies. When your car gets banged up, call LaSalle Body and Fender, and you can call them for 24-hour towing, 223-0598. It's totally normal to be constipated with belly pain, straining, and bloating again and again. No way. You could have a chronic condition called irritable bowel syndrome with constipation, or IBSC. Linzess, or linaclotide, is a prescription that treats IBSC in adults. Linzess works differently than laxatives to help relieve belly pain and let you have more frequent and complete bowel movements. Individual results may vary. Do not give to children less than 6, and it should not be given to children 6 to less than 18. It may harm them. Do not take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. Talk to your doctor today. You may be able to save on Linzess and make fewer trips to the pharmacy. See if you're eligible to pay as little as $30 for 90 days. Visit Linzess.com or call 1-800-L-I-N-Z-E-S-S. Sponsored by Abbey and Ironwood Pharmaceuticals. If Tom Petty, Bob Seger, and John Mellencamp are some of your favorite players, stick around after the game. 1039 WLPO, Starved Rock News, Talk, and Classic Rock. Jeremy Aiken, Brandon LaChance back at Howard Fellows Stadium. We are at halftime. It is 21-0 LP. This is the St. Margaret's Health Halftime Show. Stay on top of your game with help from St. Margaret's Health and Dr. Shin. He's the Illinois Valley's only doctor certified in both orthopedics and sports medicine. Scoring summary of that first half, LP jumped ahead with 250 go, uh, 2.52 to go in the first quarter. A Carlos Larios two-yard run. Weber added the PAT. Then LP got their second score, a six-yard run by Whitfield. The kick failed at nine minutes to go in the second quarter. LP led then 13-0. And then uh, they added another score, 2.23 uh, before the end of the half. An electric play by Drake Weber, the catch from Sean Whitfield, and Drake ran it in from 41 yards. Trayvon Hunter added the two-point conversion run. Trayvon also had a uh, blocked punt in that first half. Only one turnover in the game, and it was actually against LP, their first drive. Sean Whitfield, apparently just before he crossed the the, the plane, the goal line fumbled it, and it went for a a touchback. So uh, LP could be very well up, bigger than they are, 21 to nothing. Uh, Brandon, some first half numbers. I know, uh, you know, not Hugh, I mean, Weber had the biggest single play for the Cavaliers, but they're definitely spreading around offensively. Yeah, offensively, Sean Whitfield as the quarterback doing a little bit of everything on the ground nine carries for 53 yards plus the six yard touchdown that he had in the second quarter he's only thrown two passes both completed 55 yards including the 41 yard 41 yard Mm -hmm. throw to drake and then the 14 yard throw to reese kurtz also on the ground Sorry, looking at uh, this thing online or on my phone real quick. Carlos Larios, he's had six carries for 17 yards, just being that big back, trying to move the ball up the middle. So doing a little bit of everything, very versatile offense for LP. Yeah, LP, it's uh, kind of been the same story so far this year. Enough offense and fantastic defense and some special teams plays thrown into the mix just for good measure. So 21 nothing LP. Leading on with the half, the uh, marching Cavs out, uh, entertaining the crowd right now. We'll take a break, and uh, we'll go all, uh, go over some scores. Again, uh, a lot of games kicking off at 7 o'clock, some at 6 o'clock as well. So we'll see if we can get some scores. Uh, Subway scoreboard update coming up after this. 21 to nothing, LP leading Ottawa. Back with more of the St. Margaret's Halftime Show after this. Tired of asking mom and dad for money? (laughs) So are they. Well, McDonald's in Spring Valley, Princeton, and Mendota want to help. McDonald's has immediate openings for full and part-time positions on all shifts. Apply in person at the Spring Valley McDonald's on Route 6 in front of Hall High School, at the Princeton McDonald's on North Main just off I-80, or the Mendota McDonald's. Make sure you ask about all the benefits. Oh, and be sure to try one of their new crispy chicken sandwiches. Locally owned and operated, McDonald's is an equal opportunity employer. 
Here are three great activities you can plan to do in Starved Rock Country. Take a spring guided hike at Starved Rock State Park. These fun-filled group excursions will be offered every Saturday and Sunday, departing from the Starved Rock Lounge Lobby at 10 a.m. Call 815-220-7386 to reserve your space today. Visit PickUsOttawaIL.com to start planning a girls' getaway road trip. These limited-time customizable travel packages allow you to take advantage of some of the town's most exciting tours, fantastic dining opportunities, and luxurious lodging options, all at great discounted rates. For more information, be sure to follow Ottawa Illinois Visitor Center on Facebook. This Saturday, head to the Lone Buffalo Restaurant by Tango Roots Brewing Co. for an evening of live music from Ryan Witherspoon. This acclaimed singer-songwriter will take the stage from 7 to 10 p.m. inside the Tap Room, located in beautiful downtown Ottawa. For more information, head to the Lone Buffalo's Facebook page. For more activities you can do in the area, visit StartRockCountry.com and like us on Facebook at Start Rock Country. A tradition of news and sports. 103.9 WLPO. Starved Rock News Talk and Classic Rock. Jeremy Aiken, Brennan Lachance back here at LP High School, and it is 21-0 LP leading the Ottawa Pirates. Let's take a check of the Subway scoreboard update here. Cavalier fans, uh, Enjoy Subway in Spring Valley, Peru, LaSalle, Marseilles, and Oglesby after the game. Enjoy a sandwich made with freshly baked bread and fresh ingredients right in front of your eyes. Subway, eat fresh. At halftime, Streeter falling to Mantino, 28 to nothing. In the second, Mendota leading Rock Falls, 14-7. Late in the second quarter, Morris and Sycamore are knotted up at seven apiece. And just underway on 99.3 WNJK. It is Hall and Kiwani. Uh, the Red Devils coming off their first win last week, facing the Boilermakers tonight. You got another score for us, Brandon? Not a score yet, but Princeton is in Orion. They start at 7, so that's like a minute away. So they're yeah. getting ready to go, too. Yeah, so we should be getting some Princeton and Hall scores as uh, we move along in the second half here. And again, the Cavaliers leading Ottawa 21 to nothing. And uh, LP will be on uh, the road next week, their last road game of this shortened season, taking on uh, the Morris Redskins. If Morris is able to beat Sycamore tonight, I guess it'll be a battle of two unbeatens next week if LP obviously is able to finish this off against uh, the Ottawa Pirates. The Cavaliers well on their way so far, leading 21 to nothing over the Pirates. Let's take a break. When we come back, me and Brandon will come up with our uh, second half adjustment. It's always nice coming up with a quote-unquote adjustment when you're up by three touchdowns, but uh, we'll do just that. It's LP 21, Ottawa nothing. From Howard Fellow Stadium, you're listening to the Cavalier Football on 103.9 WLPO. Wouldn't it be nice to bank within your community and know that your funds stay local? Hi, this is Mike Porter from Eureka Savings Bank. Here at Eureka, we are as local as it gets. Get your loan where the decision is made locally. Get help with all your banking questions from Eureka's helpful team made up of locals from your great community. When you bank with Eureka, you invest in your community. Local lending, local decisions, local people, and convenient local locations. Visit Eureka locally in LaSalle, Mendota, Oglesby, and Peru. Hablamos Espanol, member of DIC. Scott's Law requires motorists to move over and slow down for police or any other emergency vehicles parked alongside the roadway. These men and women are more than law enforcement officers, firefighters, paramedics, and construction workers. They are moms, dads, grandpas, sisters, brothers, aunts, and uncles. Please move over for my dad. Move over for my mom. For my grandma. Move over for me. Move over. It's the law. Check your air filters, test your sump pump. Hey, Shell, what are you doing? I'm working on a spring checklist every homeowner should have. Here at Triple Service, we know spring can mean lots of water, and it's better to check now than be sorry later. So I'm making a checklist to share with everybody. Oh, that's a great idea. At Triple Service, we can definitely help. Ooh, I got an idea. I'm going to make up my own list. Let's see. I'm going to clean my golf clubs, get new golf shoes. Oh, boy. Look what I have started. If you need anything on your spring checklist, we can help. Call us here at Triple Service in Mendota. Along the banks of the Illinois River at the north end of town, Peoria Woodruff opened in 1937, replacing Keeneman and before that Averyville, which was annexed into Peoria in 1927. The Warriors had competitive teams in many sports, including boys basketball, which went to the state tournament three times and were second to Centralia at the Pontiac Holiday Tournament in 1941 and route to a 23-5 and five season. Baseball finished second at the 1947 state tournament and won four district titles, while boys cross-country won state in 1952 and were in the top ten at state.
State eight times in 10 years. There were other successful sports at Woodruff as well, but why not find out more online on the website, Illinois High School Glory Days. I'm site author Kel Varney, and we've got plenty of information on Peoria, Woodruff, and close to 1,200 other schools in Illinois that have since closed their doors. Facts, figures, history, and so much more. Come check us out today at IllinoisHighSchoolGloryDays.com at 103.9 WLPO. Still hearing the school bells, even though those schools are gone. If you see mistakes on your bank or credit card or even the explanation of your medical benefits, it's a possible indication of identity theft. Learn more at ftc.gov slash ID theft. Going around a crossing gate or walking on a railroad track, man versus train, it's no contest. Operation Lifesaver says see railroad tracks, expect a train. It's shaped like a mailbox, but it holds used eyeglasses for the Peru Lions Club. Drop yours off there, too, outside of High V. <laughs> Stick around for more great rock after the game on 103.9 WLPO. Starved Rock News, talk, and classic rock. Yeah, we'll have more great uh, tunes coming up after our game. No Cardinals tonight. The Redbirds uh, taking the night off after uh, an exciting home win yesterday over the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. And uh, they'll be back in action tomorrow afternoon on 103.9 WLPO. I invite you to join Tom Henson and John Small. They'll be in. In uh, tomorrow morning, Tom will be hosting and John Small handling news and sports. John will have all the scores from uh, tonight's football action and uh, have news as well. And uh, there's been a lot of news uh, coming out today. So uh, you can find the latest by tuning in to uh, 103.9 WLPL. Time now for our uh, second half adjustment. And everyone needs a chiropractor on their health care team. Go to Gergovich.com to see all the ways having a chiropractor on your team can help you on your way to a healthy lifestyle. And, Brandon, uh, we were talking uh, off the air there. You know, if you're LP, the only thing that kind of made us hold our breaths a few times in that first half was audible receivers, uh, and most notably Briar Neggs, uh, with ease getting behind the LP secondary. And fortunately for LP, um, each time, uh, you know, Audible wasn't able to complete the pass. You know the Pirates are going to air it out here again in the second half, so LP secondary is going to have to uh, be on their game. Yeah, I mean, Ottawa threw the ball 11 times in the first half. Well, now they're down 21 nothing, and the quickest way to put points on the board is obviously throwing the ball. Nags is fast and has found a way to get through the LP secondary and has been wide open many, many times. There was a couple times that I noticed that if quarterback Braden, Braden Miller, Miller would have found him or seen him, they could have connected a couple more times. So they just have to keep Nags and any of the Ottawa Pirates wide receivers in front of them. Yeah, that's the key. I mean, it's 21 nothing. LP is playing with the lead. Just don't give up that big play. You can give up the little dink and dunk uh, short passes, but uh, the Pir- uh, the Cavaliers have the lead, and uh, they have the defense that has uh, they've played 10 quarters this year and have given up only one score, and that was last week to the Plano Reapers. So this LP defense is on quite the run right now, and uh, they're looking for their second shutout of this early season. We'll take a final break, and we come back. We'll be ready for second-half football. LP leads Ottawa 21 to nothing. You're listening to Cavalier Football on 103.9 WLPO. When it comes to orthopedic care and sports medicine, you're in great hands at St. Margaret's Health. Get back to living a full, active lifestyle or take care of that nagging sports injury. Orthopedic surgeons Dr. Perona, Mitchell, Shin, and Kastik are redefining excellence with an unprecedented program for joint replacement in the area's most advanced technology and techniques in sports medicine. Visit aboutsmh.org backslash ortho to find a location near you. From nagging sports injuries to joint replacement surgery, you can count on the orthopedic surgeons at St. Margaret's Health. Switching is easy. We do it all the time. We switch on the lights. We switch TV channels. Some of us switch partners while square dancing. Well, that's a stretch. But what's not a stretch is how you can switch and save with State Farm. In fact, State Farm agent Jessica Strauch, right here in Peru, can switch you over so you can start saving today. Jessica and her team are ready to welcome you to the State Farm neighborhood. With Jessica Strauch, it's easy to switch and save. This is Jessica Strauch. Give me a call. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 
sunshine, warmer weather, things are getting better, and that means it's time for the Rupert Stand. Delicious burgers, Atlantic pork tenderloins, coney dogs, fried pizza burgers, appetizers, flavor burst ice cream, and much, much more. Come and get it any way you want. Call from home, there's limited inside seating, outside picnic tables, and of course, you can eat in your car at the Rupert Stand's Retro Blast from the Past 18 electronic menu board. You want the best bang for your buck? You want the greatest root beer on earth? It's all waiting for you since 1959. The classic All-American Drive-In is the root beer stand in Oglesby. When a play breaks down on the football field, you've got the rest of the game to make up for it. When something breaks down at home, you need prompt and professional service. That's why at Town & Country Services, their phones are manned 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, to ensure that your problems and questions with plumbing, heating, and cooling are all taken care of promptly and professionally. Town & Country Services offer free estimates and affordable rates. Their licensed professionals and friendly staff have been a staple in the Illinois Valley since 1919. Give them a call anytime in Tonica at 815-442-3415 or Princeton at 815-872-2200. For the ones finding new ways to ensure the job always gets done. For the ones wearing many hats. For the ones who are hands-on, even from far away. And the ones keeping business moving forward. We are Granger, offering supplies and solutions for every industry. With 24-7 support and experienced staff at over 250 local branches. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. If I'm not commuting anymore, where do I really want to live? While you handle life's questions, Merrill Guided Investing helps you manage your portfolio and invest for your next move with the option to work with an advisor at a low cost and minimum. Merrill, a Bank of America company. Visit MerrillEdge.com slash investing goals to get started today. Investing involves risk. Merrill Lynch, Pierce, Fenner, and Smith Incorporated, both a registered broker-dealer and investment advisor, member of IPC. Investment products are not FDIC-insured or not bank-guaranteed and may lose value. Tickets to the game and wherever you go, download the free 103.9 WLPO app today. We definitely invite you to download the WLPO app on your Android or uh, iPhone and listen to uh, LP football wherever you may be. And again, can't tell you enough, you want to enjoy the audio and video just go to uh, good old YouTube and uh, seek out Starved Rock Media. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you'll be able to watch a fantastic video done by Zach Shaw of LP Football. And, uh, man, is it had people commenting that, uh, you know, when they see it on their, their computer screen or whatnot, you think it's a college football broadcast with this turf now at the stadium and uh, the camera. It's, it's fantastic. So, uh Excited to bring you webcast along with the good old radio version of LP football. And we are ready for the second half. Again, the Cavaliers leading the Pirates 21 to nothing. And LP should be kicking off to start this second half. You're talking about the video production. Yeah. Don't cut yourself short, man. You're part of this thing, too. They love to hear Jeremy Aikman talking about some LP football here. Well, I'm glad to be back. It has been a while. I remember the last game we had talked about it in week one. Uh, the last game we did was... Uh, for LP was a playoff game against Rochester, it seems, ages ago. And it was in November of 2019. So, uh, obviously, we'll have a limited schedule this year, uh, but we're enjoying every minute of it, and hopefully you are too. As, again, you're listening to Cavalier Football on AM 1220 FM, 103.9 LaSalle, Peru, Ottawa. The Cavaliers leading the Pirates 21 to nothing, and Drake Weber will open up the second half with a kickoff, and uh, the wind is all of a sudden, it's blowing a little bit, but uh, not quite like how it was when this game started. The flag's stuck on a tree. It's not yeah. moving at all. It's just still. It's yeah. just chilling. <laughs> Over by the scoreboard. What the have Somebody take care of that. And Drake Weber with a touchback to open up the second half. Yeah, old Glory is stuck in some uh, tr uh, tree limbs on the uh, north side of Howard Fellow Stadium, so. Ottawa will take the ball here first and 10 at their own 20. And since this has been a subject of our conversation for a lot of the game, the sun has finally yes. set behind the trees. We can see everything. We will not miss <laughs> nothing now. Don't need to squint anymore. And uh, now we get our first look, too, of this beautiful, beautiful new turf with the uh, lights shining down on it. Just a gorgeous venue. Almost take it for granted at times, uh, the, the playing field here at Howard Fellow Stadium. It's so beautiful. You just made me smile. It's awesome. <laughs> There's the first uh, run by Shomis to start the second six. half. And he lost about a yard. Wenzel with the tackle. That'll be another TFL, a tackle for a loss for this Cavalier defense. They're just piling up 
the uh, tackles for a loss. Second down and 11 coming up for the Pirates. Fans settling back in after the uh, halftime, 21 to nothing. Cavaliers with the lead over the Pirates. I have that as the fifth tackle for loss for LP. And there's a handoff, Shomis. Uh, he goes up the middle. Swain will make the tackle. That's a positive game for the Pirates out to near the 25-yard line. That was not one of them. He no. came out of there like a cannon. Yeah, and he had pretty good running room, but uh, credit Chris Swain in his linebacker spot for LP to make the hit. And it'll be third down in about six, maybe seven for the Pirates. We're a minute into the second half, 21-0 LP over Ottawa. Again, we're on the road next Friday night in Morris. Just a quick, short trip eastbound and down on I-80. And their uh, junior left-handed quarterback, Braden Miller, setting things up in the backfield. He's going to roll left, throws, and behind the receiver, Miller's incomplete. Ball. Whitfield with the coverage. Jacob Serby was the intended receiver. Yeah, Miller threw behind his intended receiver, goes incomplete, and it's fourth down at about six, and uh, looks like the LP defense forcing a quick three and out. Braden Miller was real lucky that the LP guy was about six feet away. Otherwise, that would have been an interception. Yeah, Whitfield was on the coverage, and uh, got to think LP may get a pick before this evening is over. They're secondary. We made that our say. Uh, Ottawa's going to go for it. Maybe Ottawa. it comes right here. And LP is going to have to take a timeout because the uh, Cavaliers set up for a punt return, and then Ottawa came straight out in their offensive formation. And, uh, yeah, I think they forced LP to take a timeout. Uh, Ottawa is down three yeah, touchdowns. Yeah, Still a lot of football to be played here, though. So we'll see what Coach Chad Gross does uh, after that timeout. There's a lot of pros and cons to this decision. I mean, <laughs> you're obviously down by 21 right. points, three touchdowns. You have a goose egg on the scoreboard. You want to go down the field. But then if you don't, LP's on your 24-yard line. Right. They're right there in scoring position once again. Yeah, I guess if you're Ottawa, too, you know that uh, LP's offense has moved the ball pretty easily. And so Ottawa's defense has been uh, on their heels all evening long. And you're playing your rival. You want to go down fighting, that's for sure. So let's see. It looks like Ottawa's going to still go for it. Fourth down and six. Pirates at their own 24-yard line. And you know the Ottawa Pirates have in their mind, like, hey, this is our first meeting on this new turf. Yep. We don't want LP to be all smiles oh. and happy about it. So Miller, the quarterback, took the snap and went ahead and punted it. LP does not have a returner, and that works out to be a nice punt. Rolling down to the LP 32-yard line. So uh, about 44 yards on that punt from their quarterback, Braden Miller. So they kind of just snuckered him out of a timeout, really. <laughs> yeah, that's they all did. they really did. Yeah. But yeah. that's a good move. Yeah, they, they forced LP to use a timeout, and it was a very good punt. The Cavaliers first and 10 at their own 32-yard line. So some coaching going back and forth here in this one. I don't think I've ever used the word snookered before. That's good. Whenever you can use snookered, now is a good time to use it. First and 10 LP at their own 32-yard line. Whitfield hands it off to the first man through. Let's see if it's Carrico or Larios. It is Carrico. Even if it was only like two yards, that was a good two yards because that play looked dead as soon yeah. as they hiked it. Second down and eight. Two-yard gain on the play. It'll be third and eight. No, second and eight. Second and eight coming up for LP. 21-0 Cavaliers. We're two minutes into the second half. Sean Whitfield has been the quarterback this entire game. Tyler Hartman, though, has played on defense and made an impact. He made the last play of the first half with a sack. Whitfield, the quarterback keeper, Sean's out past the 35, leaping down to the near the 36, maybe the 37. I wonder if Jose's just worried about Tyler Hartman getting hit every play yeah. and things like that and re-aggravating injuries. Yep, wouldn't doubt it. And Whitfield's done a nice job at quarterback. Third down and six. Let's see if Whitfield maybe goes to the air here. He's got a 41-yard touchdown pass to Weber. He had another nice completion in that first half to Reese Kurtz. Third and long for LP. Whitfield under center. They're going to run the option to keeper. Whitfield dives ahead looking for the first down, and he might have gotten it. Whitfield off left tackle. Does get the first down. 
Yep, they're saying move the chains. So third and six, and the quarterback keeper gets about seven. Cavaliers have not went three and out at all uh, tonight. And they keep the chains moving, and uh, you get later in this game, and the more importantly for LP is you keep the clock moving because you are the ones with the three-touchdown lead, and Ottawa would be the team running out of time to try to make a comeback. You know, we've talked about Tyler Hartman and Sean Whitman a lot. Just think about that luxury for Jose Medina yeah. to have somebody come in and step in like Whitman Whitfield has. There's Carrico. Matt Carrico out to about the 46-yard line. He gets three on the carry. Nothing fancy so far in this second half for LP. Smash mouth running football for the Cavs. And if I was LP, I would do that. You're up three right. touchdowns. Might as well just run the clock. Second down and seven. Eight minutes to go in the third quarter. Whitfield under center. Run the clock and work on some running plays and develop it a little more. We're going to run the option. Whitfield turns it up, and he has stopped just shy of midfield. Weber was going to be the running back on the potential pitch, but uh, Sean made the decision pretty early to turn it up and keep it. And he gets about three yards on the carry. It'll be third and four for the Cavaliers at their own 49. The first down marker is at the Ottawa 47. Seven and a half minutes to play. Third yeah, we, quarter. We couldn't see his face or his eyes, but just body language, he looked determined like, okay, I'm taking this. Yeah, he made that decision really quick to hold on to the ball and go with it. Whitfield going to keep it, and he's going to be brought down for a loss. So Whitfield, nothing there. Back to the 46-yard line, a loss of three. And I believe we're going to see LP's first punt of the evening. That was a credit to Ottawa's defense right there. They saw what they were doing from the get-go and bust through the gaps, the line, and they own the line of scrimmage that play. So back to punt will be Drake Weber. Shomas will come in to be the returnee, returner for Ottawa. And Hartman going to come in late. LP needed another player, it looked like. And we're down to eight seconds on the play clock. Four seconds. See if LP gets this one off. They do, and it's a ground ball snap. Weber plays it off the turf, gets a booming punt, and they're going to be able to down it at the 15-yard line. So Drake with a nice punt there. About 39 yards on the punt. And they did a great job with that punt. The snap, again, was bouncing to Weber. Could have been dangerous. As it is, El Ottawa now will have a first and 10 at their own 15-yard line. Each team's had a drive here in this third quarter. Neither team has uh, moved the ball much so far in the second half. 21-0 LP with the lead over Ottawa. We've talked about this before, of how much having a kicker like Drake Weber in high school football, how important that is. Yeah. And he's a weapon every single special teams play. Whether it's kicking or the punting game, Weber doing, and he stays out there for defense. And he had a 41-yard yes, touchdown. He oh, he's just everywhere. Oh, by the way. <laughs> First and 10, Ottawa at their own 15-yard line. Straight drop back pass by Miller, throwing to the sideline. Caught, but a big hit right away by Narcus, and he gets a nice applause from the LP uh, fans, as he should. Narcus again. I'm glad he said the word again. He, yeah. secondary-wise, has been all over their wide receivers. Yeah, give him three, but uh, there was no yardage after the catch, thanks to a great hit by Narcus. Second down and seven coming up for Ottawa. At their own 19-yard line, we're halfway through the third quarter. Miller, the quarterback, Braden Miller. Down to five seconds on the play clock. He's going to pass. He's in trouble throwing over the middle and intercepted Whitfield. There we go, Brandon. And he's going to run it back. Oh, he's gone. That's a touchdown. No flags on the play. Sean Whitfield with the interception. And try to see the exact yardage. It was just inside the 30 where he made the uh, catch. Hunter was there as well for LP. We'll kind of give a guesstimate for now on that interception return. About 29 yards or so. It was just inside the 30, it looked like. You were talking about the MVP of the game debate, the player of the game. 
Sean Whitfield is putting together yeah. quite a resume. <laughs> and that comes with 525 to go. Whitfield, when he uh, made that interception, he turned on the burners, and there was no audible pirate that was going to stop him. Let's see if we can get the PAT. This has, again, been a struggle. That's a good snap. Hold is down. The kick looked uh, missed. Yeah, it was and wide left. No that LP touchdown, by the way, brought to you by Town & Country Services, doing whatever it takes 24-7. Plumbing, electric, heating, and cooling for over 100 years. Go to townofcountryservices.com to find out more. So the kick is no good, but the Cavaliers extend their lead at 5.25 to go here in the midway through the third, 27-0 LP over Ottawa. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with the kickoff on 103.9 WLPO. Buying a home is exciting. It can also be intimidating. But now with the Ownership Advantage Mortgage from Financial Plus. Finance up to 95% with no prepayment penalties, no mortgage points. Payroll deduction is offered. You can do weekly or biweekly payments. And you can rest easy knowing your mortgage will be held locally by Financial Plus. Take advantage today. Find FPCU with locations in Ottawa, Peru, Mendota, Mort, or Diamond. And online at financialplus.org. Offers available to FPCU members. Rates, terms, and conditions are subject to change. And based on credit worthiness, qualification, and collateral condition. Loans subject to approval. Financial Plus Credit Union is equal housing opportunity lender. Member NCUA, PSI. Neil Armstrong waited six hours and 39 minutes to step onto the surface of the moon. Jackie Robinson waited 20 months to play his first game with the Brooklyn Dodgers. And even DiCaprio had to wait 22 years to win an Oscar. You can wait until your destination. Don't text and drive. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. Tired of asking mom and dad for money? And so are they. Well, McDonald's in Spring Valley, Princeton, and Mendota want to help. McDonald's has immediate openings for full and part-time positions on all shifts. Apply in person at the Spring Valley McDonald's on Route 6 in front of Hall High School, at the Princeton McDonald's on North Main just off I-80, or the Mendota McDonald's. Make sure you ask about all the benefits. Oh, and be sure to try one of their new crispy chicken sandwiches. Locally owned and operated, McDonald's is an equal opportunity employer. This is where you go when you need to know. 103.9 WLPO, Starved Rock News Talk and Classic Rock. Jeremy Aiken, Brandon Lashots back on 103.9 WLPO. Another touchback on the kickoff by Drake Weber. So Ottawa taking over at their 20 down, 27 to nothing. 5.25 to go here in the third. And whistles blow. I think LP was having issues personnel-wise. And the Cavaliers will be forced to take a timeout, which will be their second of this half. So they only have one left. And it gives uh, the booth a chance to play more of the YMCA here at Howard Fellow Stadium. Who doesn't want to hear this <laughs> song? I'm surprised I don't see anybody We're, doing the arm motion. I saw oh, a few oh, earlier. A couple. Yeah, uh, they're almost going to get the whole version of this one in uh, with the timeout taken by the Cavaliers. And it's funny, as soon as it happened, they just hit the button. Like, just restart <laughs> the song. Let's go. Not even restart it. Continue it. <laughs> 27 to nothing, LP with the lead over Ottawa after the uh, interception return. Now, I checked in with Kevin Klum, and I asked Kevin what he's uh, going with in the yardage. He said 32 he's going with, Brandon, so we'll go with that on the interception return, yeah. Yeah, Whitfield was like a flash. I mean, he caught that, and he was gone, and it was uh, really fast to, to catch up and see where he actually caught the ball. We talked about it. I had a funny feeling that uh, Ottawa throwing the ball so much, LP was going to make the Pirates pay at least once before this one is over, and they sure did with that interception and uh, return the good old pick six. 27 nothing LP. We're back after the timeout. Pirates with the football at their own 20-yard line. And they hand it off, and a big run by Shomis. He's out to about the 28, 29-yard line. That should be enough. For a first down for Ottawa. Hartman with the tackle for the Cavs, but again, that is about an 11-yard game for Shomis. And Ottawa will mark it at their own 30-yard line, so give them 10 on that carry. Five minutes to go in the third, 27-0. LP over Ottawa. Pirates winless. Cavaliers unbeaten coming into tonight's game. Junior quarterback Braden Miller in the, the pistol. He's going to keep it 
and look to throw over the middle. It's up for grabs. And Whitfield, oh, man, Sean dropped it. It would have been a heck of an interception. Ottawa is going crazy. I don't know what they're fired up about. He definitely dropped it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they were initially calling an intersection. Okay. <laughs> Whitfield made a heck of a play, but uh, when he came down on the turf, the ball fell incomplete. And that's what had, uh, for good reason, the Ottawa fans in an uproar in front of us. When and, Whitfield uh, hit the ground, the ball was like at yeah. his knees out of his hands. Still a great effort yeah. by Sean. Almost had his second interception of the night. Miller just threw it up for grabs over the over the middle of the field. Second down and 10 now for Ottawa. Clock stops at 447 here in the third quarter. Miller showcasing a pretty good arm. There's no doubt about it, the junior quarterback. And here's some birds chirping across the way. It's gotten quiet all of a sudden. It did. Second down and 10 for Ottawa. They go back to the ground, and there's running room for Shomas. And he's out to about the 37-yard line, making the tackle for LP. Uh, look like Swain and also Ethan Tarkowski. At 5'11", 173, I mean, he's a bigger running back. Yeah. And he's, he, he hits hard as soon as he's getting tackled. He throws in a shoulder. Or he pushes back just as much. And he's going to check out his Shomas. He runs off the field for Ottawa, so now we'll probably see uh, Javarius Whitfield for the Pirates. He is indeed the back next to Braden Miller. Third down and two coming up for Ottawa. Got to think we're at a point of the game where if it's fourth and short that they would go for it. And Whitfield's going to get the handoff. He's got the first down and more at the yeah. 40. They don't and have to worry about a fourth and nope. short. Trayvon Hunter with the tackle. Also in the area for the Cavs was... Ethan Turkowski. First down run, though, by uh, Javarius Win uh, Whitfield. This is probably Ottawa's most impressive drive of the night. And they uh, get a couple first downs. We're under four minutes to go in the third. 27 nothing LP over their arch rival, Ottawa. Whitfield stays in at running back for Ottawa. Three receivers set, two to the left of Miller, one to his right on the short side of the field. And with, and LP does not get the sack. Now they will. And a big hit as they tee off. Weber came in. Uh, Levi Reed had the quarterback, and then Weber came in and helped finish him off. Finish him off is right. Yeah. Like some Mortal Kombat football <laughs> New movie style. coming out soon, right? New oh, Mortal I'm Kombat. excited to see it. <laughs> Second down and 13. So give Levi Reed that sack, I would say. And then like I said, Drake came in and maybe maybe got a half. Uh, LP put a lot of pressure on. Credit to the LP secondary because they gave Miller nowhere to throw. Initially, he had a decent amount of time, but the pocket collapsed. And it's second and 13 now, a loss of three. Every time that Miller steps back with the ball, he has very short time. Yeah. LP has been back there consistently. And they're going to pass again, throwing over the middle, off the fingertips of Briar Nags. Remember my short little junior tackle career. If I, if I was trying to catch a ball, the one thing that I was told to never do is bobble a ball. Yeah. You throw out that one hand and hit that ball up, it's it's gold for anybody. They did a quick hit uh, over the middle to Nags. Uh, Nags, he's tried to go to him several times, and they uh, have rarely connected tonight. Nags came in as the top receiver for the Pirates. He had 15 catches uh, coming into tonight's game, but uh, they've not been able to connect. And when we've been talking about wide receivers being past the right. secondary, it's pretty much been Nags is who we're speaking yep. of. Third and 13, they empty out the backfield for Miller. Straight drop back pass. He's got time. Throwing deep, and it is knocked away by Trayvon Hunter. Or actually, that was uh, Ethan Bell with the uh, coverage. He was looking for Nags again, but a nice job, a nice pass defense by Ethan Bell. So he's got an arm, but the problem was he just, uh, there's been a few times where Miller's just kind of thrown the ball up for grabs. And uh, LP's got a very athletic secondary, and uh, quite a few times they've won the one-on-one -on -one battles with the Ottawa receivers when it's just up for grabs. Now it's fourth down and 13, and we'll see if Ottawa punts it. Again, they're able to, the last time they used their quarterback who punted it, and now they will go with Ryder Miller. He'll be standing at about his 30-yard line. Back deep for the Cavs is Osvaldo Hernandez. 
Whistles blow, and they're going to get a delay of game. And there's zero on the play clock. Not really a too big of a deal. Just move Ottawa back five yards up to the 30 to the 25 yard line. That's only the fourth whistle of the game. Two for Ottawa, yeah. two for LP. It's been a kind of a quiet game whistle wise. Yeah, and then three of the four penalties have just been the five yard. Obviously, LP had the personal foul um, to end the first half, but uh, no real big penalties by any means for a rivalry matchup, LP and Ottawa. Hernandez gets it to bounce past him. Osvaldo will pick it up, and he evades the first uh, defender, and he's still going. Still going. Hernandez, 30, 35, at the 40, 45. Osvaldo turns it out to about the 48. Looked like Houdini there. Uh, I mean, the first Ottawa defender literally just ran right past him. It was like over him. He over like past ducked him. down a little yeah. bit, and he just went right past him. And there was two or three other Ottawa players, and then Hernandez somehow got away, and – Got it out almost to midfield. We're going to so, have to ask him if he's got a Harry Potter wand yeah. or something. That was incredible. The junior, Hernandez, who had a touchdown catch last week, shows uh, big-time athleticism again. Very evasive and uh, good punt return uh, for the Cavaliers. All the way out to their own 48-yard line. LP with a late substitution again. We've seen this a few times tonight. Running out in the field is Reed Rabisa. And he's a right tackle. They kind of need them. Yeah, don't <laughs> want to have a play without those guys. <laughs> Whitfield's going to run the option, the pitch, and he's at the 50 and just shy of the 50. Nice tackle for Ottawa. That was Connor Price. And uh, with the carry there was Corey Walker. And Corey got about one yard on that carry in the pitch play from Whitfield. But, again, nice tackle by uh, Connor Price of Ottawa. He's only a sophomore. And that was a good time for Whitfield to pitch because as soon yeah. as he pitched, he got walloped. Second down and nine. LP just shy of midfield. 1.30 to go in the third quarter, 27-0 LP. Whitfield running the option again. There's a pitch, and it's picked up by Ottawa. He's at the 40, the 35, the 30. Whitfield trying to run him down, and he will knock him out of bounds. So a uh, pitch play that goes awry, and that will go down as a fumble. Dylan Quatrano. A little sophomore, not even little, but just yeah. sophomore underclassman getting in there and just making the right read at the right time. So the fumbled pitch bounced right to Quatrano, and he almost ran it in for six yards, but Whitfield ran him down, pit, uh, pushed him out of bounds. It's first and goal Ottawa at the LP eight-yard line. So the pitch on an option can be dangerous. It's a high-risk play. And it goes against the uh, Cavaliers there. That's LP's second turnover of the evening. So Ottawa looking to dent the scoreboard here. It's 27 0 LP, 117 to go in the third. Miller at quarterback. He's going to hand it off to Shomas, who goes right up the middle. And he doesn't get much there. Cavaliers turn him back. Rubisa, he ran in the big 59 for LP. Chris Wayne was in the area too. And uh, they're going to give him uh, really no gain. Maybe a loss of one, actually, back to the nine. As the Ottawa Pirates have moved inside the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone. 27 nothing, LP with the lead over Ottawa. Cavaliers obviously wanting a shutout. Miller going to throw over the middle. Almost intercepted. Off the fingertips of Chris Swain. And that was directly to Swain. <laughs> yeah, they did a, uh, a crossing pattern over the middle. Miller zipped it in there, and as Brandon mentioned, right off uh, the fingertips of Swain. Chris would have liked to have that one back in his linebacker spot. But it's third and goal now at the nine-yard line, 32.9 seconds to go. LP had a nice defensive stand last week uh, against Plano, turned the Reapers away. In fact, that was led to then a 99-yard drive. The Cavaliers turned that into. Third and goal. Miller going to pass. He's got time. Throwing towards the end zone, and it is incomplete. Going up for it, knocking it away was Ethan Bell. And there was a pirate receiver there, but Bell went up with it, with him, and then knocked it away. So Ottawa's had a... Uh, a loss of one and two incomplete passes. Ethan Bell. Ethan Bell and Chris Lane both 
grabbing their helmets after the last two plays, <laughs> wishing they could rewind just about two seconds to get that interception. Yep. Fourth and goal, though. Still nice defensive plays, even without the interception. Ottawa with one more crack at it here. 26.1 seconds to go in the third. LP gave up nothing in their first game, just seven against Plano last week, and they're pitching a shutout so far against Ottawa. Got to look for number two, Briar Neggs, and he's one of three receivers to the left of uh, the quarterback, Braden Miller. Miller throwing right. What a hit! What a hit! It goes incomplete. Heck of a hit by David Narkis as he took down Ryan DeMoss. Incomplete turnover on downs. I don't even know why they're throwing in his direction. No. Every no. time they do, he blasts a wide receiver. <laughs> he gets his hands up. Uh, open field tackles for minimum or loss of yeah. yards. He's been everywhere. I don't even know why they're throwing in him. Highlight real tackle. Picture perfect tackle by David Narkis, who's Getting a lot of high fives from his coaching staff and teammates. And the LP Cavalier defense turns away Ottawa. 27-0 Cavs, 20 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Been some highlight reel plays in this one, both offensively and defensively for the Cavaliers. And LP having a lot of fun here tonight against their arch rival, the Ottawa Pirates. And we'll see if uh, LP can drive 91 yards here to put some icing on the cake in this one. Whitfield under center. And he draws Ottawa. Man, Ottawa was coming with a house. Uh, Whitfield did the hard count, and LP's going to get a free five yards on that penalty. Not just the kitchen sink, the whole house. Yes. And maybe add a garage to it as well. <laughs> I mean, there was at least three Ottawa defenders who, who bid on the uh, the hard count. And uh, more than anything, that gives LP a little more breathing room as the ball gets moved out to the 14-yard line now. First and five. This could be the last play of the third quarter. Whitfield going to keep it, and Sean's not going to get much at all. He is taken down by a couple Pirate defenders, Luke Poffenberger and Brandon Aguirre. Got back to the line of scrimmage, and that was it. And that's going to be it for the third quarter. LP adds another score, and we head to the fourth and final frame from Howard Fellow Stadium. Cavaliers have uh, 12 minutes to finish this one off over Ottawa. It's all LP from Howard Fellows, 27-0. Back with more Cavalier football after this on 103.9 WLPO. Fuel your day with one of Subway's new protein bowls. It's your go-to footlong, but in a bowl. Build any of your favorite footlongs into a bowl with the same protein of meat, fresh veggies, cheese, and sauce, just without the bread. Try chicken bacon ranch, meatball marinara, or a steak and cheese. Add your favorite fresh veggies to the mix, and it all adds up to a packed protein bowl. Double up on the protein for only $2 more. Get it all at your local subway in Spring Valley, Peru, LaSalle, Ogilvy, Ottawa, or Marseille. The Illinois Valley and Star Rock Country wake up with Rod and Tom. Mornings on 103.9 WLPO. Star Rock News Talk and Classic Rock. Jeremy Aiken back here at Howard Fellow Stadium along with uh, Brandon Lachance. It is 27 to nothing. LP with the lead over the Ottawa Pirates. Uh, let's take a check of the Subway uh, scoreboard update. Brought to you by Subway in Spring Valley, Peru, LaSalle, Marseilles, and Oglesby. Enjoy a sandwich made with freshly baked bread, fresh ingredients right in front of your eyes. Subway, eat fresh. Uh, over on 99.3 WAJK. A uh, Hall trailing Kiwani 21-7. Mendota and Rock Falls are tied at 14 apiece. Here come the uh, Cavaliers. They run the Wildcat with Trayvon Hunter. Trayvon's outside the 15-yard line. Trayvon Near the 16. First. Give Trayvon a couple yards on that play. Hit first by number 13, Miller. And it'll be third down. Short gain on the In about four for the Cavaliers. A long three yards to go for the Cavaliers. Beautiful setting again. I uh, mentioned that with the sundown now and the lights full effect. The turf here at LP. Third and three. The Cavaliers would love to get this first down, just keep the ball moving. Whitfield's going to pass, and he was hit. Wow, was he hammered uh, before he could give, even give the ball away. Uh, actually, they're going to say it's an incomplete pass. Luke Poffenbarger made a huge hit on Whitfield. 
And uh, good to see that Sean's okay because he got blindsided. And uh, LP will have to punt near their own end zone. Back deep for Ottawa will be uh, Brian Shomas. Shomas has been uh, their top ball carrier tonight. Princeton leading Orion, Brandon. I got an update there, 14-0 late in the second quarter. There's one team that I wish got a yeah. full season. It's Princeton. Drake gets a lot of air under this one, and uh, it's going to take a LP bounce at about the 40, all the way past midfielder on the 49. Drake uh, showed his uh, powerful foot there because he took on the wind and kicked it way up in the air, and that knocked it down a little bit and uh, took an LP bounce in the turf. Now they'll mark it pretty much right at midfield. 27-0 LP with 11 minutes and 8 seconds to go in this football game. LP was 7 in the first, 14 points in the second, 6 in the third. And again, Ottawa yet to dent the scoreboard. They had their best chance, a golden opportunity. Last possession, first and goal inside uh, the nine, and an LP defense turned him away. They just couldn't do anything with it. Shomas, speaking of not doing much of anything with it, uh, Brian Shomas back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, Verdun was there, Swain there as well. Weber was near the ball carry for LP. No gain on the play. What I like about this Cavalier defense, not only can they make open field one-on-one -on -one tackles, but they gang tackle as well. So if it's a big, powerful running back like Shomas has proved that he's been, there's three Cavaliers there at all yeah. times to stop him. This defense has been mighty impressive this season for LP. Second and 11. Coming up. Miller throwing to the sideline. It's incomplete. He was looking for Ryan DeMoss. Hunter and uh, Bell were there in coverage for LP. Fell incomplete, well wide of the intended receiver. And a third and 11 coming up for Ottawa now, right at midfield. Ottawa quarterback Braden Miller is a junior. We've noticed his arm, the strength. He can move it down the field. If he can work on his accuracy the rest of this season and yep. hopefully they have a full season next year, he could be a really good quarterback for Ottawa. Yeah, they've spread it out, and uh, their offense is pretty wide open for their 6'3 junior quarterback who's shown flashes as uh, Brandon mentioned third down and 11 but uh, he's running into a very good defense and they're going to get this is one thing he's had go wrong a few times tonight is a lack of uh, knowledge of the play clock because it's another delay a game on Ottawa literally the play the clock was winding down and he was still talking to his running back with his back turned to uh, the line of scrimmage so that's a learning moment there for the uh, junior quarterback from Ottawa. And I believe Coach Chad Gross just told him that, like, hey, yeah. man, you got to pay attention to these things. Yeah. Third and 16 now for Ottawa. Three receivers set for the Pirates. Clock has stopped at 10.24 to go in the ball game. They hit it off, and uh, not much there. Shomas tried to make a cut and fell down. Number six, Shomas with the carry. Making the tackle for the Cavaliers was Luke Murtis, and now Ottawa will punt it away. Back deep for the Cavaliers. See if he puts on another highlight show here, Osvaldo Hernandez. Maybe they'll kick it away from him this time. Back to punt is Ryder Miller. Hernandez standing at his own 20. And uh, there is the punt. It's going to take a bounce. It's going to take an LP bounce at about the 33-yard line. Ball still rolling. Some Cavaliers will start this possession at the uh, uh, their own 33-yard line. 27-0. Cavaliers with the lead over Ottawa. Looks like the Cavaliers will move to 3-0 on this season and uh, be in for a very tough test next week against the Morris Redskins. What do you think is more important for LP, being 3-0 on the season or 2-0 on this turf at home? Uh, I would say winning your home games on the turf and uh, obviously getting a win against your arch rival, too, with Ottawa. You always measure your seasons, too, uh, beating your top rival. And uh, LP's been doing that lately, knocking off Ottawa. 
I see Tyler Hartman in there, maybe, huh? Is he going to get some snaps? Yep, Tyler handed it off. So he's in there. Carrico with the carry. Carrico, I, we'll see if Tyler, Tyler probably won't be running the ball. He'll be just handing it off. He's already coming out. <laughs> it looks like he's, or he's getting to play. Out. Yeah, he might just be getting to play. The way he looked, though, his yep. body language, it looked like he was coming out of the game. Second down and eight, so give Carrico two yards on that carry. LP really just running this one out now. 27 nothing, nine minutes and counting left in the ball game. So Tyler Hartman getting his first uh, set of downs under center today. No, Tyler will run it. He kept it. And uh, still going until the whistles blow at about the 37-yard line. Tyler gets about three on that carry. Now we go back to the conversation that we've had before. Uh, you got a senior. You know, he's been hurt the game before. You play the junior for the most of the game. Do you put him in end of the fourth quarter or the, you know, the end of a 27 nothing game just to give him some tick? Right. So now you got Whitfield and Hartman in the game, Brandon, as uh, Whitfield comes off the sidelines. Looks like Hartman will be the quarterback. Third down and about, LP may have to call a timeout. They're having some issues with personnel. Down to four seconds on the play clock. Yep, they did have to take a timeout. Hartman uh, noticed it and got it with one second before the delay of game. 27 to nothing is the uh, score here. We'll keep it right here. The Cavaliers up handily over the Ottawa Pirates. Take another check of the Subway scoreboard update. Mentioned Princeton late in the first half, 14 0 over Orion. At half, Mendota leading Rock Falls, 21 14. After one uh, quarter of play in Ottawa, Marquette leading Ridgewood, 6 0. At last check, Sycamore uh, and Morris were knotted up in the early in the second half, 14 to 14. So that's a barn burner between uh, the Spartans and uh, the Redskins. When we announced that game was being played earlier, I was like, oh, yeah. that's going to be a good one. The yeah. defenses, the yep. running games, like that, those are two strong, strong programs. Yeah, uh, and uh, LP will see Morris n- uh, next week on their new uh, turf. So third down coming up for LP. Hartman in the game at quarterback. Tyler. Oh, they do a reverse and hands it off to Whitfield. Sean's got a lot of running room in the 50 and t- tackle down by Shomis. And nice job blocking downfield. That was Drew Lane. And uh, the reverse for Whitfield. Gets a first down for the Cavaliers. And that was like a slow developed play. And then all of a sudden Whitfield just shoots out of the back yep. the backfield and just awesome run from him. First down LP all the way down to the 47 yard line of Ottawa. Carrico behind Hartman. And they hand it off. Carrico, not much there. Maybe a yard off left tackle. Adam Whitesell with a tackle for Ottawa. One yard on the carry for Carrico. LP gets uh, four new players in there on this game, on this uh, play. Drew Lane checking out. Will Doherty as well. Second down and about nine for the Cavaliers. They're going to take their time. Seven minutes and counting now in this one. 27-0 LP. Kind of a workmanlike effort, I guess, it's turning into now. Never threatened, really, in this one. And we have another delay of game. So both teams have had their share of delay of games. Is it delays of game? Delay of games? Hmm. Delay of, games. delay of games? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the plural <laughs> version of the uh, more than one de- delay of I think you got to throw in another word with it. Yeah, okay. It makes Numerous it, yeah. delay of games. They took too much time. How about that? There we go. Yes, there we go. yes. The clock hit zero. So that's a five-yard walk-off on LP. at second and 15 now, and the ball spotted now on their side of the 50 at the 49-yard line. Not a lot of action here in the second half. Most of it's been in the first. Hartman's going to pass. Tyler throwing over the middle off the fingertips of Nolan Hamilton. Incomplete. Incomplete. On the coverage was uh, Levi Sheehan of Ottawa. So he looked for the big guy, Nolan Hamilton, but off his fingertips. 
incomplete, and it's third down and 15 for Ottawa. 6.23 to go. The clock is now stopped. Hartman showing his arm strength. Yeah, that was a bullet. that ball in there. Now they got Whitfield back in the game along with Hartman. Drake Weber out there as well. He's a playmaker, as we've seen uh, this evening. Whitfield is just such a dynamic athlete. We saw speed. We see yep. his love and football IQ, like he knows what to do out there. Hartman's going to pass. Tyler's got time over the middle. Caught by Weber at the 35. Drake is down about the 32. And it's going to finally take about six Ottawa defenders to bring Weber down at the 34-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that completion. Hartman to Weber. First down, LP. First down. So Weber showing his athleticism there. Might have actually lost the yard or two and trying to get more yardage, but uh, still to first down. Horizontal. Yes. Yep. Started to go Instead horizontal vertical. with it. First and 10 LP at the 35 of Ottawa. Six minutes to play and counting here in the ball game. Ottawa almost jumped into the neutral zone again. Hartman will back off. Plenty of time on the play clock now. Tyler hands it off. Carrico and some decent running room for Matt. Gets inside to 30, oh, down about the 29-yard line. Five yards on the carry for uh, the junior, Matt Carrico. Uh, number 13, Miller. That was Ryder Miller with a tackle for Ottawa. Six yard gain in the play. Second now they give him six, four. second down and four at the uh, Ottawa 29-yard line. It was a big, powerful run. Just up yeah. the middle and put his shoulders down and ran with it. Nothing fancy for Matt Carrico, just results so far this season. Back under center is Hartman. Back to Carrico off left tackle. Matt's churning and gets it out to about the 28. He gets some assistance from his teammates to try to pull him forward. And I saw some forward pushes, <laughs> yeah. just arms moving to push people through. Got a line change for LP. Six new players in on this uh, possession, so... I think it's one of those cases, trying to get pretty much everybody into the ball game as they should at this point. So it'll be third down and two for the Cavaliers at the 27-yard line of Ottawa. 27 to nothing, LP running away with this one. Led 21 nothing at the half, and just uh, they've been on kind of cruise control here in the second half. And there is a handoff. First down yardage. And uh, is that Carrico again, I believe? Yep. Yep, it was Carrico. First down Cavaliers. Did not really say his name much in the first half or even halfway through the third quarter, but now as they're grinding out the clock, yeah. just give it to the bruiser and just let him run. First and 10 LP. The Cavaliers knocking on the door once again of the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone. LP uh, letting the clock run down here on every play. It'll be about three and a half minutes to go in the ball game when this ball is snapped. Hartman under center. Tyler gives it to Carrico, and uh, Matt ran into a guy at the line of scrimmage, bounced off the defender, and gets a couple yards on the tackle. It was Ryan Jones of Ottawa, another sophomore. They got some... They're a very young team. Sophomores, a lot of sophomores on this roster. A couple of freshmen as well. So uh, it's one of those things. If you're Ottawa and you're an Ottawa backer, you just it's a team that's going to take their lumps as a young team, but just get better. But like we said earlier, they have athletes. They yeah. have talent there. Yeah. It's just putting it together and letting them get the experience. Second down and nine coming up for LP. 21-yard line of Ottawa. Hartman going to run the option. Tyler keeps it, turns it inside. 15-yard line Tyler, down to about the 11. Tyler's close to the first down. That was a thanks for letting me play coach yeah. type of run. Yeah. It's like, let me get in here. <laughs> and Tyler looked good running the football there. 
the market at the Auto 11. So again, the Cavaliers are in the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone. Let's see, the LP, they're going to get to a point here where I think they would do a victory formation. They could actually already start doing it now. They're already starting to take their time in the huddle. Right. Let's go down, wait till it's at right. two, three on the play clock. and Yeah, it's not like they're hurrying and trying to score again. No. By any means. Hartman under center, and nope, I think there was a false start or legal formation on LP. Carrico was the ball carrier. It is a false start on the Cavaliers. Let him move him back five yards to the 16. So right after I said there was only four whistles in the whole game, now it's doubled <laughs> to eight. We got yeah. four for each now. Still not bad. Not not bad. And they're the five yards offsides and things of that nature. And obviously that one had to be obvious because you know the officials at this point just want to swallow the whistles and, and yeah. be done with it. Yep. But uh, that one definitely was obvious with the false start. Had to Had to call it. And it's first and 15 now, LP, at the 16 of Ottawa. They can't hide them all. No. Hartman under center for the Cavaliers. And uh, Ottawa now might have given them the five yards back. I think they did. They had three guys that lurched a little Offside. over the yep. line. Yep. Offsides on Ottawa. So those five yards are back. And it'll be first and 10 now, LP, at the 11. All the while, the clock is running as uh, they go back and forth with these penalties. You're listening to LP Cavalier Football on 103.9 FM, 1220 AM, WLPO, LaSalle, Peru, Ottawa. I was still hoping by the time the end of this game that the flag was going to come unstuck somehow. Like a bird would yeah. knock it down or something. Well, they're going to pass. Hartman looking and intercepted. What a play. Oh, what a play by Colton uh, Coulter Figenbaum. It's like a diving head to scoop his hands almost to the turf. He probably touched the turf to, to get under the ball. So Ottawa with a great play there by their secondary uh, Coulter Figenbaum. Uh, DB picks off Tyler Hartman. So I'm sure Tyler won't like that going against his season stats with an interception. It's not going to matter in the... Uh, Outcome of the game, 27-0 LP as uh, they are turned away. And uh, that'll give uh, Ottawa one more chance with the football. Yeah, win-loss column is pretty secure at this point. Yes. Yep. Oh, a high snap. Miller gets it. He's in his own end zone. Throws it and incomplete. He was looking for uh, Briar Nags again. Out about the 30-yard line, it goes incomplete. Coverage for the Cavaliers from Trayvon Hunter, Austo Estevan Alfaro. So, clock stopped at 106. The game has slowed down quite a bit here. Yes, it has. Well, they've started throwing the ball more. Yeah, they just yeah. haven't been able to connect. <laughs> Again, LP uh, trying to get this shutout. I have Miller with 22 throws, wow. and he had 11, I think, at the first half, so yeah. he's doubled it. And he'll throw it again, and whoa, he led his receiver way too far. He was looking for Jacob Serby. Threw about three yards in front of him. Uh, Michael Kaczynski with the coverage for the LP Cavaliers, so Michael getting some playing time in there. Senior defensive back wears number 16 for the Cavaliers. Now of the LP band still playing, even though there's only a minute left in this ball game. There's never a time that's not good for music. Right. And a, nothing better than a marching band, too. Fantastic. And job by them again tonight. They do an awesome job. They're, I'm sure they're enjoying uh, being able to play and practice on this turf as well. And to have people here. Just yeah, like right. They have fans watch the football team. They have oh, there's a fumble in the end zone. Cavaliers are going to get another touchdown. The quarterback fumbled it, and uh, is it is Luke Murtis. 
with the fumble recovery. It was a high snap to the quarterback. Fumble recovery in end zone. And uh, Cavaliers had another score with 54 seconds to go in the ball game, 33 to nothing. Luke Murtis, look what I found. He dove into the end zone. There was a pile, and uh, Murtis came up with it, a junior linebacker. So uh, LP gets on the board once again, and they've scored in every quarter tonight. It's like when you reach your hand in the cookie jar thinking nothing's there, but hopefully there's one more cookie, and you find there's five in there. That's kind of what happened. He's like, hey, got a cookie, a.k.a. a football, and, hey, I got a touchdown. That was awesome. Second defensive touchdown of the night for LP, and now they're going to try the PAT. They're still working on this. This has not been uh, all that great. There's a snap. The hold is down. The kick is good. This one looks plenty good. It is for Drake Weber. So uh, LP adds the PAT. By the way, that was another ton of country services touchdown, doing whatever it takes 24-7. Plumbing, electric, heating, and cooling for over 100 years. Go to townofcountryservices.com to find out more. And that extra point brought to you by Financial Plus Credit Union. They belong to you, and that's the plus at Financial Plus Credit Union in Peru, Ottawa, Mendota, Morris, and Diamond. A uh, defensive touchdown by Luke Murtis, a fumble recovery in the end zone with under a minute to go in the ballgame. And it is 34 to nothing. LP with the lead over Ottawa. So uh, the Cavaliers putting it on. Their rivals down Route 6, the Ottawa Pirates here at Howard Fellow Stadium. I mean, literally, uh, LP doing every facet again, Brandon. I mean, they've had the defense with the shutout. They've had big plays offensively, special teams, the big three facets of football, and the Cavaliers doing them all well tonight against Ottawa. And uh, they're going to be 3-0 and as they head to Morris next week. Yeah, all facets on both sides. Yep. I don't think there's anything that you could say they lost. Line of scrimmage, they won. Secondary, they won. Rushing the ball. Yep. Even throwing the ball. Yep. They've only they've had been, two or three throws. I'd say four. They've been more efficient throwing the ball. More efficient, definitely. Yeah. Five throws to 23 <laughs> with those. <laughs> but there's right. been an efficient five. And one of the throws was a touchdown. A big touchdown pass. Weber from Whitfield. Drake will do the kick here. Looking for another touchback if he can get one. And, yes, he will get one as uh, that will go into the uh, end zone. So 51 or uh, 54 seconds to go in the ball game. 34 nothing LP over Ottawa. As uh, some, I see some vehicles heading, leaving, some people leaving for the exits. Nice, the six o'clock starts is pretty nice. I mean, it's not, not getting home at nine or 10 at night. It's just past eight o'clock right now. I'm getting old, aren't I, when I'm saying how nice it is to start earlier. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> not past, my, bed, not past my bedtime yet. <laughs> right? Just yet. Getting close. I'm thinking about it from a News Tribune. Yeah, the dead, uh, meeting a deadline. Yeah, yeah, I had deadlines, and yeah. we wouldn't get done with the football Friday version of the paper until 3 o'clock in the morning. And the pass was complete oh. over the middle, and he fumbled it. But then Ottawa recovered it. It was uh, Ryan DeMoss with the catch. And uh, it goes for a pretty big gain. It was a wild play there. They fumbled it, but Ottawa recovered it out to their 37-yard line. Gain of 17 for the Pirates. The clock is running. Miller going to throw. Has a man. It's caught. Nice tackle in the open field that time for the uh, Cavaliers. Number nine, DeMoss with the catch. That was... Uh, Joey Shepard with the tackle there. It's another player with uh, there's a number nine who's not on the roster. Could be the last play of the game. Miller back to pass, throwing over the middle, and almost intercepted, caught on the deflection, and they're going to turn it into a touchdown. They had to, right? The wow. last play of the game as the clock No goes time zero. remaining. Oh, it hit off the Cavalier <laughs> defender. And that goes for 55 yards. The Cavaliers give up the shutout, but they still get the big win. I guess that was Briar Nags. He he got his point. He got his touchdown. He was trying all night. He's had about eight targets, and finally yes. he got the one that he needed as the last second of the game, and he runs into the end zone. Again, it deflected off an LP defender and into the breadbasket of Nags. 
who ran it in with no time left, 55 yards. But again, uh, let's not bury the lead here. The Pirates lose big to the Cavaliers. 34-6, LP takes down Ottawa. We'll be back with some uh, post-game numbers after this on 103.9 at WLPO. Springtime is the perfect time to fix up your home. Do you need new windows or have you been dreaming about a porch or a new outdoor space? Or maybe it's finally time for an addition to your home. Or is this the year you buy that new home? Hi, this is Tara Stefanich with First State Bank. We're ready to help you with a loan designed to fit your needs. And if you're ready to refinance or need a new mortgage loan, First State Bank is the bank for you. Visit me at First State Bank in Ottawa today. First State Bank, an equal housing lender, member FDIC. If you're the kind of person that wants to keep your vehicle in great mechanical shape, then Grossenbox Auto Repair in Oglesby is the place for you. Let's talk tires, for example. Did you know that properly inflated tires need less distance to stop your vehicle in an emergency situation? Your tires may feel and perform no differently under normal driving, and by time the problem is evident, it's too late. Call Grossenbox Auto Repair in Oglesby at 883-7055 for your next appointment and free estimate. That's 883-7055. The number is easy to remember because you're driving 70 instead of 55. Listen wherever you go. FM 1039, AM 1220. Streaming at Classic Hits 1039WLPO.com and with a free WLPO app for your mobile device. LP with a resounding 34-6 win over the Ottawa Pirates. Cavaliers 3-0 now, Ottawa 0-4. Here's a scoring summary. Carlos Larios got a LP on the board with 2.52 to go in the first two-yard run. Weber added the PAT. Moving on to the second quarter, nine minutes at the nine-minute mark. Whitfield, Sean Whitfield, a six-yard run. The kick failed. Then with 2.23 to go in the first half, Whitfield connected with Drake Weber on a 41-yard pass play. Hunter added the PAT. LP up 21-0 at half. Cavaliers alone score in the third. A 32-yard interception return for a touchdown by Sean Whitfield. The uh, kick was no good. After three quarters of play, the Cavaliers led 27-0. That score by Whitfield came at 525. Fourth quarter with 54 seconds to go. Luke Murtis recovered a fumble by Ottawa in the end zone. Weber added the PAT. And in the last play of the game, uh, thrown up basically a Hail Mary by Braden Miller. It bounced off the LP defender into the hands of Nags, Briar Nags, and he ran it in from 55 yards out. There wasn't even a PAT because the game was over. 34-6 to the final LP over Ottawa. Turnover-wise, LP did fumble um, the ball twice and threw one interception. Ottawa turned it over twice, and they were big turnovers because both were uh, touchdowns for LP. Sean Whitfield, an interception return, and also Luke Murtis, then the fumble recovery in the end zone. So LP, that all adds up to a 34-6 Cavalier win over the Ottawa Pirates. And uh, Brandon, if you don't mind, give us some final numbers tonight. Really wasn't many numbers to add after, yeah. you know, the, the first half because LP was just trying to run out the clock. They were just bruising the ball up the middle for the most part. But we said his name many, many, many times through the broadcast. Sean Whitfield, he finished on the ground, 14 carries for 74 yards. He didn't throw the ball again after the first half, so he's going to end or finish the game with 55 yards off two passes, and he had a touchdown, the huge touchdown to Drake mm -hmm. Weber. Uh, other than that, I mean, it was just ground and pound. Carrico finishes with 40 yards. Lasario finished with 22, so they were just sharing the ball and, and grinding it out. Well, it was a definitely a team win for LP. A lot of people contributing to tonight's victory over the Ottawa Pirates, 34-6. to Let's take another break. When we come back, we'll uh, tell you who our Bill Walsh Automotive uh, Group uh, with the drive of the game, and uh, we'll give you the first state bank player of the game. LP 34, Ottawa 6. Back with more post-game coverage after this on 103.9 WLPO. Switching is easy. We do it all the time. We switch on the lights. We switch TV channels. Some of us switch partners while square dancing. Well, that's a stretch. But what's not a stretch is how you can switch and save with State Farm. In fact, State Farm agent Jessica Strauch, right here in Peru, can switch you over so you can start saving today. Jessica and her team are ready to welcome you to the State Farm neighborhood. With Jessica Strauch, it's easy to switch and save. This is Jessica Strauch. Give me a call. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Cool. 
Toolmaster, the area's leading home improvement company for more than 60 years, wants to help you with your remodeling project. Reduce your energy consumption year-round with Coolmaster's selection of high-quality Energy Star rated windows and doors. Coolmaster also provides high-quality siding, soffit, glass showers, and three-season roofs. Call 223-8972 for a free estimate or visit the Coolmaster showroom on 2nd Street in downtown LaSalle. Coolmaster, the Illinois Valley's leader in window and door replacement. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it, bringing you the weather, the traffic, and breaking news, all while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometown, and that someone is us. We are free radio. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text radio to 52886 to learn more. Furnished by NAB and this station. Local certified technicians can examine your child's car safety seat, make an appointment through Peru Police. Mendota is fighting crime through Crime Stoppers. 538 7777. These are a couple of great teams, but the real super groups, like ACDC, Def Leppard, and Journey, play after the game. 1039 WLPO, Starved Rock News, Talk, and Classic Rock. Jeremy Aiken and Brandon Lachance continuing our post-game coverage here from Howard Fellow Stadium. It's a Cavalier win, 34-6 over Ottawa. Uh, tonight's drive of the game is brought to you by the Bill Walsh Automotive Group. Find your next ride at BillWalsh.com without doing any driving at all. And we had plenty of choices, but uh, me and Brandon came up with the last scoring drive of the first half. Uh, it ended with a 41-yard pass, Whitfield to Weber. And uh, just before that pass, LP had a... Uh, Wide receiver pass from Weber to Hernandez, and he got it all the way down in the end zone, but it was called back on a legal procedure. So that showed you that the Cavaliers, uh, you know, didn't let that penalty get him down, and they uh, stayed with it and made the big play, the biggest play of the game yardage-wise, 41 yards. Weber from Whitfield, that's uh, our drive of the game, and that put LP up by three possessions at the time, and they were well on their way. Yeah, that just let him coast after that. Yeah. After being up three touchdowns, like, hey, let's ground and pound, work on our running game, work on our line schemes, and you can see them just working on that stuff and drowning out the clock after the big lead. So that is our drive of the game. Time now for our player of the game. Player of the game brought to you by First Aid Bank, locally owned and committed to exceptional service and banking products like Casasa Checking and on-the-go mobile banking. To learn more, contact the winning team at First Aid Bank, member FDIC. I think we got to go with a junior uh, quarterback, kick returner, just uh, extraordinary about anything. Sean Whitfield, to Brandon, he had a six-yard touchdown run, 41-yard uh, touchdown pass, and a 32-yard interception return for a touchdown. So uh, Sean Whitfield, our player of the game. Yeah, offensively, I had him. I tallied him for 74 yards on the ground, 55 in the air. That's 129 without the 32-yard interception. So he just had yards everywhere, touchdowns everywhere. He was part of all facets of the game, which we have said many times, and he was part of everything, and he was a huge piece to LP defeating Ottawa in the, the way that they did it. Yeah, Whitfield, uh, of course, pressed into more action at quarterback because of uh, Tyler Hartman banged up. Tyler was able to get in at quarterback late in the second half, so we'll see if they uh, split snaps next week against Morris or if we go back to Hartman or not uh, against the Redskins. We'll take another break. And uh, we'll continue our post-game coverage, start to wrap it up here as LP beats Ottawa 34-6. to Switching is easy. We do it all the time. We switch on the lights. We switch TV channels. Some of us switch partners while square dancing. Well, that's a stretch. But what's not a stretch is how you can switch and save with State Farm. In fact, State Farm agent Jessica Strauch, right here in Peru, can switch you over so you can start saving today. Jessica and her team are ready to welcome you to the State Farm neighborhood. With Jessica Strauch, it's easy to switch and save. This is Jessica Strauch. Give me a call. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Don't sit tight. Whether you're getting down in a three-point stance, getting down off a ladder, or getting down on the dance floor, you need a chiropractor on your health care team. Dr. Mike Kirkovich at Kirkovich Family Chiropractic in LaSalle utilizes the most advanced technology to provide care for men, women, and children of all ages. 
Go to drgergovich.com to see all the ways having a chiropractor on your team can help you on your way to a healthy lifestyle. That's drgergovich.com. Agriculture is a robust industry with endless opportunity. This is IBCC instructor Willard Mott. I operate a family farm where we raise corn, soybeans, and hay, and I've been teaching 16 years. With agriculture flourishing in LaSalle, Bureau, and Putnam counties, an ag degree can lead to a career in management, sales, service, research, or production. Entry-level pay averages over $40,000 a year. Google IBCC Ag to get started today. can take you so far. Whenever news breaks in Star Rock Country, you'll hear it on WLVO, brought to you by St. Margaret's Health. Whether it's a cut, bruise, or a break, St. Margaret's Health is here for you, as they have been for over a century. Stay tuned to 103.9 WLVO on the radio, streaming, or ask Alexa to play 103.9 WLVO. Whether it's hard news, severe weather, or exciting local sports, Star Rock Media's got it covered. Just like St. Margaret's Health has you and your loved ones covered. Be in the know in Star Rock Country with Rod and Tom. Mornings on 103.9 WLPO. Star Rock News Talk and Classic Rock. Yeah, well, uh, Rod will be back Tuesday. He's taking some time off Monday morning, so you can join myself and Tom Henson. Tom will be uh, hosting tomorrow along with John Small. Of course, John will have a full rundown of all of the Friday Night Lights action, including uh, LP's 34-6 win here over the Ottawa Pirates. And uh, we'll be back in action next Friday night at Morris. And uh, last check, Morris and Sycamore. Oh, we got an update. Morris leading or trailing 21 to 14 with 23 seconds to go. So we check another look at our Subway scoreboard update. So that game has been back and forth all night. Morris and uh, Sycamore. Let's see. Kiwani uh, last check was up 28-7 over Hall. Mantino running a clock on Streeter, 48 nothing. Princeton at a half. They're uh, could be uh, running the clock against Orion, 35 nothing at half there. Mendota led at half, 21 to 14, and um, Marquette had an early lead over Ridgewood. So, and again, there's some football tomorrow as well. I know St. Bede, among the teams playing uh, Saturday games, the Bruins will be at Sterling Newman. So uh, plenty of football still to be played as uh, we head into the weekend. We're going to take. We got another uh, got another score, Brendan. Yeah, we already say Mendota Rock Falls. Well, we had an older score, so that's probably a newer update. So now through three quarters, Mendota is leading Rock Falls twenty-one fourteen. So that's a back and forth game uh, between Mendota and Rock Falls. We'll take one final break and then we'll wrap it up from Howard Fellows uh, LP all over Ottawa tonight, thirty-four to six. Back after this. L.W. Schneider, a manufacturer of precision firearm parts in Princeton, is looking for you. L.W. Schneider is currently hiring for all shifts, including part-time Monday through Friday from 4 to 8 p.m. with additional hours available. You can make up to $15 an hour without experience, and if you're an experienced CNC operator, up to $20 an hour with excellent benefits. Be part of a creative, collaborative, and diverse team. Go to lwschneider.com slash careers or call Wendy at 815-875-3835. L.W. Schneider is an equal opportunity employer. Mortgage rates are still near an all-time low, making it the perfect time to buy a home or refinance your current loan. Hi, this is Missy Clancy from Hometown National Bank. By refinancing your current mortgage, you can reduce your payment and use the extra money for the things you love. Vacation, swimming pool, new car, or remodeling Tammy's kitchen. Wait, Tammy, did you put that in there? I did. Oh, boy. Visit myhtmb.com to apply. Hometown National Bank is celebrating 140 years of making dreams come true. Your bank for life. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, MLS number 759336. An Illinois Valley tradition for sports continues on 103.9 WLPO. Star Rock News, Talk, and Classic Rock. Wrapping it up here from Howard Fellows Stadium, uh, 34-6, LP over Ottawa. And, uh, Brandon, just some final thoughts on Another impressive Cavalier win. The defense. Uh, we said the defense many times. Cavaliers' defense is ruthless. They're not letting you get yards. If you're throwing the ball, they have their hands in the air, mm -hmm. in the way. They are doing everything that they need to do to not let you move the chains and not find the end zone. Ottawa had perfect position here. And it was first down. I believe they were around the five-yard line. Yeah. And they couldn't do anything. LP just kept pushing them back, pushing them back installed them and they've done that every single defensive possession that i've seen them play this year they have been ruthless and that's that's the best word that i can use to describe <laughs> them because they're not letting any opponent's offense do anything against them yeah the only score here tonight in case you're just joining us was a just a fluke play at the very end of the game 
a 55-yard pass play for Ottawa that uh, hit off the LP defender and uh, went for a score. So the Cavalier defense were, they literally were just a couple seconds away from posting their second shutout of this season. But in the end, they still win 34-6 to over the Ottawa Pirates. I want to thank our sponsors of Cavalier Football, LaSalle Body and Fender, Hometown National Bank, uh, Town & Country Services, Eureka Savings Bank, Subway, the Illinois Valley Credit Union, St. Margaret's Health, Financial Plus Credit Union, Gergovich Family Chiropractic, Bill Walsh, and First State Bank. We urge you to do business with sponsors of LP Cavalier Football. So the Cavs wrap it up. I want to thank John Small back uh, at Engineering at the WLPO Studios as well. Thank my partner, Brandon Lachance, and thank Zach Shaw on the webcast doing video. And I uh, can't wait to go home uh, and watch it this weekend, Rewatch. As you can as well, if you go to YouTube, go to Star Rock Media, and you can uh, watch and listen to the game again as the Cavaliers bring home a 34-6 win over Ottawa. We'll be back on the air next Friday evening, 545 pregame from Morris High School as uh, the LP Cavaliers will take on always tough Morris Redskins. Hopefully you enjoyed the broadcast tonight. It was another Cavalier win over their arch-rival Ottawa, 34-6. Have a great night and have a safe weekend.